fast forward it. I cheated. By the way, we've got the uh, lie detector guy here today, and uh, we will get to that bit that we tried to do yesterday, but we had a problem getting to it. Uh, uh, you, you understand. Who showed about. up? Um... Yesterday, you mean? No, I mean, who showed up today to get their lie detector? Everybody I don't know. thought that you know, at least Cabby was announcing that people wouldn't show up for work. No, no, everybody's here. <laughs> I don't... And, Ra and Ralph will be here. Le Ralph will be here. And Benji, where is he? He's not here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> See? You never know. Where's Cabby? Cabby. He's probably in a bar with a man. <laughs> Luis, if it says I'm gay, then I'm gay. We got to go. Because yesterday I was having a conversation with Ralph, you know, because he kept saying, I I think that Cabby is not gay. He's more bisexual. Hmm. And I said, look, there's a scale. And in the middle of the scale is the dividing line. On this side of the scale, you're straight. On this side of the scale, you're gay. Um, in the middle, you're on the fence. Cabby's way <laughs> over the line. Oh, he's gay. Yeah. He's gay. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's, I'll tell you what. And by the way, he had, since he came out of the closet, you know, he used to call me like once a day. Yeah. Now he's calling me four times a day. Oh, I knew it. I knew he it. He didn't mm. email you, though. He did. I, oh, no, I've been emailing. I will tell you. Oh, he has. No. He's emailing and calling. Oh, it, dear. See, you know, you, 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 you're too lenient on him. You know what it is? I do want to hear what he has to say oh. sometimes because it's good for the show. I would I'm tell you, torn. Howard, I would tell you. It's, well, it's, what has been in? Have you opened the emails? I want the phone calls to stop, though. We'll tell him today. Well, wait a minute. You told him he could call all he wanted, not to email. After he came out of the closet, I thought, well, he might be completely nuts, so he better let him call. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. we got to take a break. Uh, here today also, Craig Gass. The uh, great comedian. Yeah. Also, uh, he's brought with him uh, Al Pacino's baby. How are you doing? Al Pacino's baby is here, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. You've I heard about Al Crazy Cabby? I mean, Crazy Kathy? <laughs> oh. This is going to be a fascinating show. You're going to love this show. The baby I knows love he... fairies. Right, and you would love to hear about it. I do. Can't wait. All but right. even that baby knows he's heterosexual already. I do. It, I, I, I tell you, it takes... You a... love women. I do. I had the nurse as soon as I came out. <laughs> It takes a certain special someone or something in a man to be able to get up on all fours and be violated. That, right. That oh, yeah. Is, that image is so strong yeah. in my mind of Cabby, I mean, Kathy. <laughs> I cannot tell you how disturbing that image is. It really, is. it's been hard to erase. Yeah, Well, it the is. thing that really got me was at 13 was his first experience. Yeah. And then at 17, he had to go work in porn so he could have guys. Right. Yeah, yeah, the experiments seem to happen on a repeated yeah, and then, basis. And then, you know, and then at 25, he's at a gay bar, right? I mean, <laughs> By the way, Kennison is here as well. Good to see you. Yeah, you know, I'm listening to the story. It actually sounds a lot like the Jeffrey Dahmer story, too. <laughs> it's you know, not at, that far at, off. At 13 years old, he, he killed his first animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It kind of moves. It progresses. So you you think he's in trouble. I'm saying get out of his way. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, also, uh, the great Christopher Walken has been brought in as well. I'm so gabagoo. Gabagoo, all right. We uh, 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 uh. I vey is mere, I vey is mere, crazy Kathy's here. We'll be doing the lie detector at 7.30. I'm not going to talk about it until then. Oh, hey. are we gonna, you yeah. got the questions all straightened out? Well, no, next break, you come in here and we're going to straighten out all the gay questions and all that stuff. Um, let me just um, go through a couple of things. Hi, Kathy. I mean, Cabby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thanks. All right. <laughs> Cabby's in here telling me all the chicks are emailing him. They want him now. You don't even know. I'm Since he came out of the closet, every girl wants. Yeah, they I've want become him. more attractive. And he's telling and he's telling me all the six girls he had the other night. You know everything. You know what uh, Ralph asked me yesterday? He yeah. said, "What? You know, I know Cabby's exaggerating somewhat. No, what? What do you no, he's think? Not. What do you think he's exaggerating about? I said the sex with women. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I've changed it. Exactly. Right? Right? No, Come it's... on, what do you think about that, Howard? <laughs> exactly. It's now precisely. Okay. Anyway, uh, let me just... Precisely. <laughs> there you go. I have so much stuff to get to. First of all, everybody's talking about this NCAA tournament thing. I know nothing, nothing about, it. about it. Can't even figure out what's going on. Where so are they now? I just did a man on the street piece asking people what they think about okay. the NCAA tournament. I feel like play that. Who do you think will win the uh, NCAA tournament? Is that the Olympics? Is that? Is it the Olympics? Do you like the Olympic view? Basketball. Oh, basketball? Oh, then what was that? 
Uh, New York City. No, uh, um, he had to uh, take care of the girl, and the homeless people can hit the girl, but they can't get baby. <laughs> <laughs> Every yeah. time you go to the street, that guy's there. Yeah, he's the only guy on the street. <laughs> He's the one guy uh, Rudy Giuliani hasn't found yet. <laughs> Thrown in jail. Rudy Giuliani, by the way, wants to uh, go back on his campaign to get rid of sex shops and strip yes. clubs. And he's going to sew up that loophole. That's right. The 60-40 loophole, he right, says. Right, 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 right. So what does that mean to your... Scores? Bastion of pleasure scores. Well, the 60-40 loophole means, quite frankly, that if a strip club can justify and say that 40% of its business or 60% of its business is non-strip club related. They can stay open. So what Scores did is they turned half of the restaurant into, or 60% of the restaurant into into the into a restaurant and 40% into a strip club. So that gives them the 60-40 rule. Yeah, but if he closes that loophole, where does that put Scores? That's a big problem, and uh, Scores is going to fight it. They have a battery of attorneys. In fact, I think they're on the phone to 1-800-LOCK right now. <laughs> <laughs> Getting an advanced. Uh, a couple of phone calls. I promise to get to them. Let's go to Mike. Mike, you're on the air. Hey, uh, I just I heard on the uh, national news the other day that uh, TiVo is gathering information about their uh, whoever has them and sends them to this. Yeah, large... did you hear yeah. that? I know all about it. Listen, you know people are insane. <laughs> I'm going to tell you people are insane. And I'm going to tell you why. TiVo, for those of you who don't know, is a thing you can put in place of your VCR that tapes your shows, and you're in touch with TiVo, and TiVo can tell what you watch. I couldn't give a rat's ass. I said to myself, what in the world could TiVo be telling people about me? They're telling what you watch. Who cares what you watch? So but, let's. So, but, so, you know, they're acting as if it's like Big Brother. Your television is watching you. Although TiVo did call me and say they know Cabby's gay. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe they'll get actual ac uh, accurate ratings then from TiVo. Yeah, well, no, no, it has nothing, nothing to do with ratings. ratings. Why are you here? Oh, that's right. We have a, a lot of TiVo. <laughs> You don't um, know any more about TiVo than you do about your I, yeah, I can't He's scheduled one. for 7.30. He just comes trotting in, though. And he sits himself down on the couch, and you can't get rid of him. Yeah, like, and then you look at you know how he's dressed, and you can't get that out of your mind. He's got this Wait. big sweatsuit on and sandals. Velvety. Yeah. But people are screaming, TiVo knows what we watch, and they're spying on us. If, so what? I'm happy to tell them what I watch. Here's what I watch. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The Academy Awards I taped the other night. But wait a minute. The yeah. way they tell the story, it sounds like TiVo's finding out more than that. Well, people think that TiVo's finding out like where you have and, sex in and, your bedroom. In fact, the story I heard was not all, you're watching your TV, but your TV's watching you. Yeah. Like you can see. So I think people read that and think that. So there is nothing going on that's uh, extraordinary here. And then they sell this information. So they sell the information to networks and say, this is what people 18 to 24 are watching. They never give your name and say, you know, Joe Blow watches this. Yeah. So uh, I enjoy TiVo, and uh, I'm not afraid for people to know what I watch. I don't know why, who the person is that would be afraid. Unless, well, that's the other thing that I was about to say. Yeah. What are you doing that you don't want people to know? Maybe you ought to stop it. Yeah, what show could it be that you're embarrassed to admit watching? You know? The Kathy Lee movie. I got suspicious when my TiVo started making fun of my nose. <laughs> that drove me crazy. Somehow it knew. All right, thank you. Don't worry about your TiVo. It's fine if it spies on you and tells what you I'd watch. I'm more worried about the computer than your TiVo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, let's go to Jim. Jim, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. How you doing? All right. Uh, I recently went to an adult bookstore to um, buy a video, and I, I was checking out some gay videos in a peep booth. Go ahead. You think that makes me gay? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yes, of course. Come on, man. If wow. he was just looking at gay movies, he's yeah. gay? Of course. Why would he want to look uh, at gay uh, movies? Uh, well, who looks at gay no, movies? No, they, they had a bunch of them in there, and I just stopped and looked at it for a minute. Oh, that's all right. Oh, you didn't go in and order any yeah. or, or pull that out and I thought you in. meant you went and bought gay movies and watched them. No. No. Then you're not gay. I saw D over there. Really? D who? D. Snyder? Yeah. He was why? <laughs> oh, my God. And I gay movie, too. Oh. <laughs> who else was there? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, thank you. Uh, oh, let me make a correction. On Son of the Beach, 
John Sally plays McBeal Ali, and the oh, he's McBeal. Yeah, and the the uh, guy who is a, uh, a the, he's the bookie, against him, yes. the, the bookie is Jerry Curl, Jerome Curl. Uh, Here's a scene from Son of the Beach. Okay. Well, well, well. Notch Johnson's in the house. Jerome Curl, a pleasure to meet a man with such respect in the community. Oh. Props back at you. <laughs> Gesundheit. But I have a flavor to ask you, and if you grant me this flavor. Then other men of respect would owe you a flavor. You mean favor? Word. See, <laughs> that's Notch talking. Oh my! God. He's black. talking black. He's talking black <laughs> and about man of respect in the community. Jive. <laughs> it's funny. You know, I haven't watched last week's episode yet. I gotta sit you down must and get that it. done. That took place before, on a Russian submarine. Yes, before this week's episode yes. comes up. Yeah, you don't want to watch them out of order, Robin. I don't. No, no. It's very important. I watched Sopranos, the Last episode. Night I had to. Yeah. It's great. Oh, Beautiful show. What a show. What a show. Who was the coffin show. guy? And by the way, you know who that Burt is? Young. Burt Young from Rocky. What a great scene that was. Yeah, he's good. When he went in to kill the guy. Oh. That was great. <laughs> And I think there's going to be a lot more killing going on. You know, but last night they were real, you know, brains were flying against the wall and stuff. It was stuff. great. It was very graphic. Ooh. It was very cool. I was watching that. And now, I, I wanted to ask you a question. Are you watching the widescreen version or are you switching over to I the am so screen? not watching the widescreen <laughs> version. First of all, Why with, are they doing that this with my TiVo, I'm, I, I'm so lucky I got the one... I'm afraid to screw it up. I got Sopranos taped, yeah. and it tapes very tight. Like you know, it's it's like yes, it, I didn't get the previews for the next week. Yeah, you never even believe you're gonna get. To, to let it tape for four minutes before and after. But you know what happened? Sopranos was longer than an hour. You know they're sloppy. Hmm. They they make those shows whatever length they want. Well, so I barely so my TiVo barely uh, recorded that. It cut it off. But uh, the fact of the matter is, I saw it and it was great. It was a great episode. And they, they say at the beginning of this show, you could watch in widescreen or regular screen. Yeah. And I, whatever I get, I watch. I don't sit and make that decision. I don't understand where I'm going to get the widescreen. <laughs> it's on another channel. Yeah. You would have to change channels. I'm not doing that. <laughs> You're already set up and yeah. you don't want to screw it up. Yeah. You know what? It's a TV show. It's, uh, it's not a movie. <laughs> yeah. I just it's a TV myself, show. What are they doing? Well, they're trying to be a movie now. And let me tell you something. It's better. It's better. To uh, probably you know watch it in widescreen, but I won't because it's a TV show. But it and those guys be want shot for TV. Of course, it's absurd. I don't know what's going on. They, you know, you know what? It's better than most movies. The Sopranos. It really is. And I wondered, are they trying to get this together for some kind of a European release or something? I don't know what they're doing. In theaters? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Hmm. How great was the scene in Marriage Therapy between Tony Soprano and his wife? <laughs> that was fun. How great was that? I wanted to ask you. Is that what it's like? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The drive home is that one? Drive home. Same way? Usually you don't drive home in the same car. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Never do you drive home in the same I was car. Like, what a nightmare that was. After marriage therapy, you don't drive home in the same car. <laughs> you hire two exact limos, and one person's in the other one, and the other person's in the other one. Because Tony made the mistake of driving Carmella home. Yeah, that was a mistake. And he was you going know. like 90 <laughs> you yeah. down the turn. You never do that. Oh. You'd never do How that. How uncomfortable. Right. Uh, let's go to Ryan. Ryan, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hey, man. This is Ryan from Cleveland. I hey. understand that. Cabby, dude, you are so gay, man. No, I'm I not. Can't. Cabby, hey, I was on the internet last night. Dude, how could you say, no, I'm what not? What would make you gay, then? Yeah, I mean, what makes a person gay if, if not no <laughs> sex, giving and receiving, being a, patch, I, a pitcher uh, and a catcher? If I was practicing. Dude, you're terrible, man. And you admit it on national radio. You tell everybody about your sex life. Well, I, I respect that. Okay, he's a non-practicing gay. He's a non-practicing homosexual. Is that is that fair to say? No, it's not. Right. I, I've had uh, gay experiences. I've had. You've had like way too many gay experiences. <laughs> yeah. How do you know what I've done? You because don't. you told us. <laughs> <laughs> How do I know what you've done? Dude, you, Dude, you told us over the past two. Mouth. What? All right, we know that. You don't have to get graphic. Yeah, what's okay. that? All right. Hey, man, you you're, put another man's genitals in your mouth. You're jealous. jealous. <laughs> that, that helped. <laughs> All right, anyway, thank you. Jealous. <laughs> Howard, you guys rule, man. Thank you. Come out of the closet, pal. Number one, dude, Kevy, you're a homo, dude. The you truth will set you free, my friend. Aren't you doing it 730? Yeah, you want me to leave? Uh -huh. <laughs>
<laughs> kind of, yeah. All right, but, I will. Uh, all right, go oh, take a breather. You know what's funny? Right, cool. Cabby has that whole logic that everybody, you know, he he's like a lot of guys. If they do stuff that they think they shouldn't be doing, they decide everybody's doing it. Right. So everybody's yeah. done some version we're, of this. Well, we're, we're taking lie detector <laughs> tests, and we get, we'll get we'll settle this Wait once and for sec, all. Though, yeah. uh, last night I, I get stopped in the hallway, you know, during the cane show. Yeah. And Benji says to me, uh, dude, let me explain why uh, I, I'm not going to be there to take the lie detector tomorrow. I'm like, no, dude, explain to me on the air. Right. He claims he's not taking a lie detector. Why are you not taking a lie detector? Oh, don't come over. He's going to make a bit out of it. That's what he's going to do. No, but, dude, did I say that to you? You know yes, what, Cam? You, you, you swear in your life I said that to you. First you said, I, I don't want to. No, you stop me. No, no, I don't even want Benji. I don't even want I don't want the Benji show. It's so right, boring. Right, right. I don't even want I to hear your answer. Too, make a I so it. don't care. I did not say that If you take the lie detector or not. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You know what? Don't take it. I didn't. That's how I said it. I was going to explain why I called him an arrogant prick. I don't even care why. All right, said, go ahead. And I said, explain it to me on the air. And I said, see it for the lie detector. And he's like, well, I'm going to explain why I'm not going to do that. I didn't say that. Yeah, dude. you did. No, I didn't. Whatever, dude. You want to make a bit out of it, that's fine. But you said it. That's bullshit. Let's oh, well, okay, oh, okay, okay, Benji, move away. Let's Thanks let's for run. cursing. That, get, get away. so professional, bro. Get out. Get out of here. Let's just kiss. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? He's cursing on the air now. Why are we surrounded by nuts? <laughs> I don't know. Even come back when hey, one happens. time I was surrounded by nuts. In, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, exactly. It was, it was an accident. Exactly. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, you I, just sit there and relax. Uh, I'm not you're, gay. You have verbal diarrhea. I'm not gay. I don't have verbal diarrhea. So Al Pacino's else? baby. Is he gay? I think he's gay. You think he's gay? He smells like pubes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I was going through a magazine, and this is a good magazine. This uh, what do they call it? FHM. I don't even know what FHM stands for. For him magazine. Oh, oh for him. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. I read it for, every month. Oh, the H and the M is him. No, it's for him magazine. Oh, I see. For him magazine. Yeah. Okay. Why are you reading it? Sorry, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your I name get is... fashion tips in the back, Robin. Your name is <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Crazy Kathy. There's hot guys in there. <laughs> so they interviewed a stripper, which I like, and they gave her anonymity. So it's cool. And she answered questions honestly, Ooh. which I like. Okay. What a stripper really thinks? Yeah. Um, okay. They asked her, do you ever hit on your clients? Because every guy I know goes to a strip club. You know, has this fantasy that the girl stripper Lies, is yeah. going to hit on him. Yeah. All right. She says, uh, I could never hit on a customer. Instead, I just pretend to have sex with shot glasses. Uh, I dry hump on the strippers. I stick my hands down guys' pants and rip off all my clothes. So what she's saying is she does. She the Strippers will be aggressive if they like you. They will, in fact, touch you. And do sexual things that they don't normally do with clients. So that's ah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, listen to this. This is very telling. You got to interpret because I don't understand. I understand stripper. Uh, obviously, <laughs> what percent of your coworkers sleep with their customers? The stripper said this: one hundred and ten percent. Oh, so even girls who aren't there. Are right. sleeping with them. She's saying all the strippers sleep with them. Even the ugliest guy will get some version of sex if he hangs around long enough, and I know that to be true. Because Ralph is done. He's done it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, how would a guy fail with you? Completely fail. fail. She says okay. if he even thinks about stiffing me for a dance. So if a guy doesn't pay, you don't He's get to play. Him. All right. That counts me out because I never tip those girls. Well, you don't need to because you don't need girls. No, I just why I, I've always been under the uh, impression that you're giving your money away and you're not getting anything out of it. It's I, a strip I, club, I, dude. That's why you're there. You're there to pay money for the girls. To, it's a he great concept. Even understand the concept? Yeah, he's, because he's crazy, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy Kathy doesn't understand. This why should I, why should I pay another girl for sex when I can go get it from a guy? I'm with you, crazy <laughs> Kathy. Right. So you no. think like a chick? I just think that I'd rather go try to pick a chick in a bar. Up. Chick. All right. Yeah. Okay, whatever. And bring her home. <laughs> There's no girls with patty wax, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. She said, what is the best pickup effort to date? She says, I asked this guy if he wanted a dance. He took out his wallet and handed it to me. It was love at first sight. Oh, so, she fell in love. With strippers, it's all business. They're at least upfront about it. Or it's all money. They love money. That's right. 
Um, okay. What's your... Uh, all right, well, that, that was really interesting stuff. And I think the most interesting thing is, is that, yes, they will hit on clients, and yes, they all sleep with the guys so if you hang around long enough. the thing you need to look for is the girl who's really going above and beyond. Yeah, you could tell. she's giving you a dance. That's right. Okay. That's the point. And you know what? It confirms everything I've learned about strip clubs, and I've gone to a bunch of them. Well, you, but you get it. Yeah. I sure do, you do. Think, do you think most strippers are actually prostitutes then? I mean, if the money's right, they'll sleep with them anyway? Even yes. I don't think that they're prostitutes per se, but I think that it's like, hey, you know what? Their, their philosophy is, and I guess this is sort of a prostitute thing. Yeah, what are you saying? Yeah, their philosophy is, look, married women are prostitutes. Right, they get married to... They get married, all get supported. Women are so all women are prostitutes, so we're not doing anything different. As a matter of fact, there's a big story... Front. Yeah, there's a big story in the newspaper today. I was just pulling that out. I yeah. think this is the best story I've seen today. There's a big story in the newspaper today about how uh, those two girls, the twins, that you Sandy Hefner... and Mandy? That you Hefner dating, those two were accepting money gifts well only one of them was actually with the guy and he was just giving money to everybody through her he was giving them cars over how many millions in gifts oh god yes it's it's over a million in gifts he said millions but the list is after the first date she went to las vegas somebody set them up hmm. after the first date he bought her a uh, Mercedes 500 SL. Imagine this worth. rich guy is so desperate. Yeah. He sent this girl a Mercedes after oh. one date. $95,000. Oh, right. And she wasn't even doing them. Yeah, that's what she claims, and that's what I don't believe. That. No, she no. wasn't doing them at first. Uh, you don't send yeah. somebody a Mercedes and you're not banging them. Yeah, happens. these we guys had do. Two girls wow. here last week. Who are XFL cheerleaders. I heard that. I don't believe them. I, think I do. They're full they of it. They were absolutely telling the truth. Here's what this woman got. She got a, the Mercedes, a Range Rover, a Mercedes 600 SL, a Bentley. That's $293,000. Ca a Cadillac, a red Ferrari, a black Ferrari, $231,000. And no offense, I've had those chicks on my show. They're not that hot. All expenses paid vacations to the Bahamas, Hawaii, Switzerland, and Mexico, and that was for her and her friends. And okay? she's not doing them. I just no, no. Eventually, no, she, eventually she was. She oh, eventually she did. Uh, with nah. him. Right. But listen to this. You guys are fool. Three Rolex watches. Uh. <laughs> a fourteen karat gold bracelet with uh, thirteen claw set round brilliant diamonds. Right. A platinum d uh, necklace. An eighteen karat <laughs> yellow gold and diamond bracelet. An eighteen karat gold bracelet. An eighteen karat gold necklace. Canary yellow diamond ring. A platinum necklace. Uh, yeah, well, the point is, I mean, yeah, so what is the tally? What's the tally on all I, that? They don't have the, they say it was millions, but they don't give me an exact. Yeah, I think it was like six million. Just the car sounds like about four million. And yeah. now they're telling, because the guy's company went bust that he was running. <laughs> they want the girls to return all the stuff. Yeah, but it was happen. only mm. one of them. He was buying her sister presents just to get her. Yeah. She, no, it wasn't he, like he got the two girls. I know. He was even buying another sister who doesn't pose naked. You got that kind of money, you and could the mother. just pay for sex. I mean, I don't get it. All right, you don't get a lot of things. Is it for the trophy? I mean, is it to have that Playboy Playmate on your side? Is that the whole, I mean... The Aren't we going to talk to you at 7.30 to have... Uh, I mean, you're so full of questions nobody that I don't care about. The head, I just can. don't get this the mind of a blue. rich psycho who you pays the mind all of a, this money and he's not getting it? It's a heterosexual thing. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, understand. well, okay, who's the fool in that relationship? Not you. No <laughs> one can so explain the heterosexual right. mind to you, Cabby. Anyway, uh, yeah, I can't explain it to you, dude. But that's quite, I mean, they only had a, a relationship for a few months. Right. And she was still with Hef while she was doing him. Right. So, again, you have the question of, is sex really having, if Hef is really having sex with these girls? One way or another, you're going to pay. That's all I'm telling you. Uh, we have an email address, but I, I don't even want to give it out anymore because we got like 12,000 email well, yesterday. Wait a minute. Either you want email or yeah. you don't. We really don't want the email. Most of the email, though, i got to tell you, 90% of the email was about one thing. What? People thanking us for the email address. Oh. So. Because they finally have a way. Yeah. And it's like, who's going to. And, and we're having a meeting today to figure out how are we going to read the email because no one can read it. I oh. mean, it's it's impossible to go through all this email. Right. I'll read it for you. No, you, no that's okay. <laughs> we don't need you to do that. Come on. <laughs> I need a job. I know you do. <laughs> We don't want you reading it. Oh, man. You wouldn't know what to do with it. Sure I would. You'd probably just call all the guys and ask them <laughs> out on dates. God. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> right. All right. So anyway, the uh, address is Stern Show at HowardStern.com. But only write us if you really have something important to say. Not thank you for the email. That's not yeah, a, a good email. Yeah, don't thank us for the email. It's it's not worth it. All right, I tell you what. When we come back, I've got the Kathy Lee movie clips uh, that we've got to listen to. It was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> right, you take a half hour break. <laughs> okay, right, it was a very entertaining it. movie. Seven thirty, we're going to get you in. We're all going to do lie detector. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. It's more evidence that he's gay. Yeah. Oh. Anyone who why? Liked because it? I thought the movie was entertaining. It was, it was so over it was, the top. It and was stupid. unwatchable. Yeah. It was unwatchable. It was funny. She right. was making fun of herself. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she wrote it. Yeah. Yeah, Plus, yeah. I you got it. Howie Mandel, man. Wow. Great actor, huh? <laughs> no, he's just a good-looking guy. <laughs> Great ass. Great ass. Uh, also, I was watching. I actually got to watch the Academy Awards a day later, which does no one any good. But <clears throat> I'm watching it, and it occurred to me that uh, Julia Roberts got the Academy Award for one reason only. She showed all those boobs. She sh remember she pushed up her bra for Aaron Brockovich. Yeah. That's what. What's the difference between her and those other actresses? In fact. That performance wasn't even that great. It's the boobs that did it. It's those breasts. She pushed them up, and I'm telling you, that's what people respond to. You think? I'm telling you. I respond to boobs. I'm two months old. <laughs> well, you that might we know. have something there. It was the lowest rated Oscars. Uh, In fact, the Sopranos, they say, affected the Oscars. Yeah. I know um, I was uh, upset about not being able to watch the Sopranos. You were? Yeah, I felt obligated to watch the academy awards but i really wanted to watch the sopranos yeah there were some other observations i had too about the uh academy awards i'll think of them as uh i didn't result. notice that jennifer lopez's dress was see-through not only well you I didn't, just noticed it was ugly you had to watch the pre-show with joan rivers i did oh it's see-through i mean you just i mean it was just see-through and it was horrible it was horrendous <laughs> It was horrendous. And I, I could barely get through Russell Crowe being so full of himself and so in love with himself. Yeah, and, and Sigourney Weaver did look like she had a parrot on her shoulder. Yeah, she had a big <laughs> basket of fruit. All she needed was a patch over one eye. If they moved it up two more inches, she would have been Carmen Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> big basket of fruit over her head. Howard, what would you think of Benicio Del Toro, man? I think he looks like a retarded John Stamos. Really? You don't think he's hot? <laughs> no, Cabby, I don't. <laughs> Oh, right? <laughs> and I don't think he deserved to win against a guy like uh, Jeff Bridges. Just seems impossible to me. I know. think that Willem Dafoe deserves Willem Dafoe, that, that guy's good. Oscar, yeah. His name ain't Willem, it's William. It's Willem. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not high. buying into that. <laughs> He's hot. You like him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like him? <laughs> well, come on, man, with a name like Willem, man. Tell me that guy's <laughs> You not can't there. go wrong. I want Dafoe to take the test. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding something. <laughs> Well, in a half hour, we'll know who's gay and who isn't. We're going to be taking. Way, did you see the stuff in the paper today about the Oscar parties, the post-Oscar parties? Yes, I did. That was interesting because you know all these love interests were trying to avoid each other at the party. You know, Sean Tom Puffy Bruce. Combs ran into Jennifer Lopez. Yes, that's and right. How would you feel if you were dating Jennifer Lopez and you see Puffy coming across the room? <laughs> I'd be nervous. I'd be afraid. I'd comes. be really afraid. <laughs> I would get out of there yeah. if I were him. It's Puffy but himself. Puffy himself doesn't look like he's going to kick any ass, but he's got a bunch of guys who would. Yes. It's the rep, man. It's yeah. the rep. Yeah, he's got people. <laughs> uh, I think Jennifer Lopez is the happiest woman in the world to be away from Puffy. Yeah. I think she's been trying for years to get away from him, and I don't think she knew how. Mm. And I think the trial helped her get away. We should put Puffy on the lie detector. A lot of these girls at the... <laughs> yeah, y y y yeah, right. Uh, I, you know, a lot of these girls want to, uh, I don't know what they do, they are going to the Academy Awards, so they want to somehow look grown up and like old Hollywood or, or Glamour, important. Yeah, so they want to look like Joan Crawford for something. And a pretty girl like Jennifer Lopez even manages to make herself look ugly by pulling her hair in a severe way, mm -hmm. very tight to her head, their big ears are showing. I think Ashley Judd is one of the prettiest women I've ever seen, so and awesome. she showed up looking like a dis I mean, big giant Dumbo ears <laughs> with her hair pulled back all severe, these dresses that don't even fit. Like they're, It looks like a bunch of girls dressing up for the prom. Girls at proms always look bad. And dresses they really can't wear. Yeah, and, and, and they don't look hot. The, the ones that have great bodies wear these big baggy dresses, you can't see anything. And the ones that shouldn't be wearing baggy dresses are wearing tight dresses like Sigourney Weaver and showing these huge bellies. <laughs> Who's dressing these women? Get a girl like Kathy, crazy Kathy, to dress them. Yes. That's all he knows how to do. Yes. Well, if you watched the Joan uh, uh, special, you saw the woman who's the fashion director mm. of the Academy Awards. She was sitting there talking about how she helped all the women oh. get their outfits together. She's angry at she's women. She's trying to b bring glamour back to Hollywood. Kate Hudson, one of the cutest girls in the world. 
uh, had Stella McCartney dress her. Stella McCartney is the daughter of a rich guy, Paul McCartney. I mean, she doesn't know how to dress anybody. She's just playing at it. So that's why she looks so bad. I have a theory on the hair thing, though. They all wear their hair tight and pulled back yeah. because it's such a long night and long day. They don't want it to go flat. So they don't style it, so it's easiest just to whip it back. So you would know about stuff like this. I don't. Yeah, yeah they whip it back, and then they don't have to do anything to it, and they're outside all day, and the wind's blowing outside the arena. So you've had gay sex, so you know how I know all about women's hair, <laughs> Howard, from running my fingers through it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyway, okay, so good. There it is. I had some other thoughts, but I'm sure they were relevant. And, and Tom Cruise, <laughs> did they grab him off the street? He didn't even have a tuxedo on. He's he was hot. Just, <laughs> I didn't even see that. He, yeah, he small. was at the very end, and he walked out on, you know, sort of almost unannounced, and he was wearing a regular suit. Well, I had uh, people in my office tape the Academy Awards, and then when they got right up to the Julia Roberts part, it just shut off. <laughs> that was another time, because it ran over. They only allotted three hours on the TiVo for the Academy Awards. If it doesn't TiVo, if it's... Oh, it's see. watching you. It's not watching TV. Yeah, well, how do they, how they expect people to... So you get to see well, best film uh, editing, but Academy, not... So it's, yeah. The Academy Awards <laughs> and sports events, if they run beyond the time that, you know, their scheduled time, you're not going to get the end. You see, Tito's got to know that the Academy Awards go longer than three hours. Because mm. it got cut right off. And so I didn't get to see, I, I sat through every technical award, every bad award, and then Julia Roberts got up and I got cut off. So I never saw Tom Cruise. Yeah. Well, there were only two two more awards. Yeah, there. but it was what you wait for. The Steven Soderbergh speech and yeah. these producers. So, and you already know what happened. Right? I know, and I wanted to see it. I mean, I, I know that. All right, I got to take a break. I we'll had be to back. Get up and run to another room. <laughs> We're all set with lie detector today. Everyone's going to undergo a lie detector. You'll know who's gay on the show and who isn't once and for all. We'll see who passes and who doesn't. And uh, also, I got the Kathy Lee movie clips I want to play next because it's so bad. Do you think this will get Kathy Lee more movies or? <laughs> she is so irrelevant. It is so, only E would put her in a movie because I know the E philosophy. It's like we don't care if it's good or bad. It got people talking. Uh, so, you know, they got they got Kathy Lee to do a movie. It's horrible. It's just absolutely awful. Craig Gass is here. John Sally, you will be speaking to him on the phone for some reason. I want to hear about his experience on Son of the Beach. Cabby's polygraph. Do you know John Sally? I don't know him personally. I just know we hired him for the, for the TV show. Uh, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Poor bastard. I don't know if he ever got... Canceled. Canceled. That was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> exactly. What'd you think of that, Howard? That was funny. Hey, we should make prank phone calls, man. You know what'd be funny? What? We call a guy up and me and you are naked. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, hey, we're naked, man. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, that'd be funny. Funny for you, not for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, Craig Gass joining us, obviously. And uh... By the way, do not write to our new email address. <laughs> Limit asking your... people not to write. Yeah, we, I set up an email address. It was the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, we, I don't Gary said he, st he stopped at, like, number 500 trying to read them all. Yeah, how many times can you read, you guys rule, or welcome to the 21st century, because yeah. we got email. I know, because we got email. But, Maybe uh, once they get that out of their system, it'll be okay. They only write us if you got something real important to say and you can't get through on the phone. Phone is the best way to reach us, get on the air. Oh, cool, man, I'll call you. Stern Show. I don't even know what character you are right now. Uh, Cabby. Oh, you're Cabby. Okay. St you. You're Crazy Kathy. <laughs> Stern Show at HowardStern.com. That's our address. Okay, so we sent Gary Garber out to something called what, Gary? Russell. Do, do you think there's too many useless award shows? Yes, I do, honey. Well, why? She's so into them. Maybe because you remember that we have to go to them and pick out dresses and pick out hair and makeup for them all. Aww. I think that they should really narrow them down. She doesn't have to do that. <laughs> you forget. She's affected. Vivica Fox wasn't up for any awards. Why is she doing there? But it's not about the awards for people. that It's, it's diluting them. It's about that she has to get dressed yeah, to go to these. She you has forget. to get dressed every time they have You forget. i got to get dressed up for these awards. Yeah, somebody's throwing her down and holding her arm behind her back to make her go. Um, to award, you know, the things that are really important. It seems like that now there's like a big rush that everyone's just capitalizing on the award show phenom. Yeah. Do, do you think there's a bias against fat actresses in Hollywood? Do I think there's a... A, a, a bias against fat actresses in Hollywood. Fat actresses? <laughs> Did you guys hear that question? Um, 
I must admit to you, it's really hard to stay under a size six um, because you have to realize that the camera makes you look 15 pounds heavier. So most girls that when you see them and they're a size six on camera, in person, they're literally a size two and a size four. Do I think it's fair? Of course I don't because it's not the realistic portrayal of the African-American woman or a woman in America in general. But... <laughs> Damn. It's the business that we're in. Who has the fattest ass in Hollywood? Who has the what? The fattest ass in Hollywood. Who's got the fattest ass in Hollywood? Biggest ass. What kind of question is that? Who's got the biggest ass in Hollywood? Well, tonight, Julia Roberts says, because she's got an Oscar behind her ass. Go, girl, with your big ass. <laughs> hey, have you ever had a lesbian experience? No. <laughs> You ever do? Do you ever do a white guy? Strictly dickly. Um, oh. yeah, sure, I have. I have another one interracial relationship. I know. Uh, I have another one interracial relationships. I've had them in my past, but I'm strictly dickly. But is penis size important? No, it's all the motion in the ocean. Yeah. Wow. Do you think OJ has been unfairly prosecuted? <laughs> OJ? Yeah, you think he's been unfairly prosecuted? I don't know, OJ. I don't. I know his daughter. I love her. Yeah. W which parent told you about sex? My dad. Dad did? Uh, has anybody uh, ever accused you of being gay? No. And did I ask you about lesbian experience? Yeah. <laughs> I said it and said it out. Strictly, yeah. dickly. And how often do you engage in anal sex? Oh, never. On that note, goodbye, Howard. Thanks a lot, baby. All right, good night. God bless. <laughs> no <laughs> anal for her. No. Oh, Just Kathy. Just crazy Kathy had it. <laughs> Strictly, dickly, Howard. <laughs> That's the same for you, right, crazy Kathy? Isn't Cappy? that great? Isn't that your motto? <laughs> exactly. Well, we're going to find out who else's motto it is when we go through all these gay tests. Finally ran into this rap star, Casanova, which... This guy raps about everything, right? Everything's a rhyme. Over there now. All right. You and KC should do it on the air. Yeah, we're all going to do it on the air, except for uh, a couple of you guys who yeah. went ahead just so it wouldn't take forever. I know. Yeah, yeah, so what should I do? Should I? How should we work this? Well, it'll take you a second to get hooked up. I mean, you go walk right over. All right, you guys kill time while yep. I do it. Doesn't, don't you have to hey, do it? Hey, can I do a rap? Can no, no, no. We're going to rap guys are... Kill us some time. <laughs> oh, Cabby Raps? Hey, My Howard. name is Howard. Cabby. I'm going to take the test. I really love penis. It's the best. There's a trick. It involves your dick. <laughs> hey, Howard. Uh, yeah. Put it in my uh, Cabby mouth. asked me for his... Uh, <laughs> Ask me for my email address. So I give it to no, Cammy. No, no, don't. You'll be, you'll be, you'll, you'll be swamped. I can't believe that you told him not to email you, and he's still emailing. You. <laughs> yeah. oh, please, can't believe you told him not to do crack, and he did crack. Yeah, <laughs> told him not to be a homo. He's a homo. All right, come on. Let me go over there. Now, what are you guys going to do while I right, walk I'm over? Gonna, no, you're going to be hooked up. We can yeah. talk to you. Yeah, it'll take you 20 seconds to get over there. Get All right, I'll put this up. Oh, Gary, have you, have you have you have you yeah, have you taken the test? No, I'm going to take it. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, me, Casey, Cavi, Howard, Fred, a couple other people will take it. All right, Thank what you're hearing you. in the, uh, can you hear me? Yes. What you're hearing in the background is... I have different questions from Cavi since he's admitted right. to stuff. Stuttering John, did you go yet? Yeah, yeah he went. You went? Yeah, but if you, know, if you bring him in and get the results, then he can't be taking the people's tests. <laughs> yeah, but he'll get some more results. Let's hear some now. <laughs> And then let's hear the rest of the yeah, people. Let's see John's nervous. You know? Let's see if we can flush out a few gay people. John, right go now. tell Gary I want to get Ed in with the results okay. so far. Okay. Then I'll do the turkey caller dudes who are here, and then the rest we'll of the people can get results. tested. <laughs> I want to hear KC's test though. I want to hear my needle and Ralph's test. needle was off the board though. So You're probably gay, John. <laughs> yeah. Me and John are Big gonna go gay out John. tonight. Big gay John. <laughs> I want to hear Cabby's test and KC's test. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put those ones on the air. Yeah, well, you know, I, uh, I'll, let, let's see what happens. What? Everybody's trying to explain. It now, yeah. Oh, but, 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 uh, but wait a second, Cabby brought up a good point. He was just saying something about like. Well, now like, Cabby has a good point. Now, finally, <laughs> no, finally. yesterday he had right? no good points. No, like exactly. you consider like you know like I know a lot of like stripper type girls who go with chicks and they but they're into guys but they go with chicks. Do you consider them lesbians? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Even if they've only like a married but woman, are they? They're, they're not. Ralph, what are you trying to say? Have you gone with a guy? No, no, I haven't. I'm just. I'm, so what are you worried about? No, Strictly I'm not. No, dick. I'm not. Have you no, no, ever no, touched? Not. Have you ever touched a man? No. Okay. Yes. Oh, you yes. have. Yes. Oh, but, In a sexual way. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't sexual. We were like, I was like in grade school. Like, all right, like aside grade, from that, have you, you done know? anything? No. Oh, okay. So then, what are you worried aside about? Aside from grade school, <laughs> because he, uh, that wasn't like, like you know, that wasn't yeah, like was clear. Oh, it was very clear. Because I didn't talk have about you it. Ever in the done air. Here comes Ed Torian. Oh, oh, this you is the man. Was a man, but or was a woman? Ed, but you was can sit on my lap if you'd like. Ed, I know you haven't tested everyone. There's three more people to go, but I'm interested. 
Okay. All right, there's three more people to go. But I'm interested in what you have so far, Are there results any wise. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, All right. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you a question <laughs> first. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you a question first. Yeah. Go ahead. Are some people, don't say who, right. are some people lying about their sexuality? Yes. Okay. Oh! All right. Yeah. Yeah. The game is afoot. <laughs> now, Craig, you took the test, too, did you not? No, I didn't take the test. Oh, no, Craig didn't darn. take it. Why is that redemption for you, Cabby? Because, you know, all these people, you guys sit there, you call me gay, blah, 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 but some, some truths are going to come out right, right. now. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything. This is, any of this is truthful. Oh, of course not. <laughs> I think uh, before, before, everybody was saying, oh, yeah, okay, I'll take the test. I'll no take problem. It, I'm I took the valid. test, and I'm I telling you it. I'm straight, and I bet you that test is going to prove I'm straight. You know what, I, and I failed it once, and I'm going to fail you. it again. What? <laughs> Howard, I believe you. I believe Watch you. me. Watch me. I believe you, and I believe Ed Gary. And will prove me right. Okay. All, all right. right. All right. Howard, Howard, I believe that I'm straight. Who's would you like first? All right, Gary, what do you suggest we uh, go with first? Well, who do you, who do you got here? All right, let's start with Stuttering John. Stuttering John. Yeah. All right. I, I think that his is going to be pretty... That's Scott. Okay. Well, that's Scott. Oh, Scott. I can't wait to hear Scott uh, the pace. Uh, uh, Stuttering John. So that's my signature. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, get get the mic right on Ed's face. I don't want to l lose a word that he says right now. Okay. <laughs> You're the star of the show today, Ed. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. All right. Okay, now, <clears throat> excuse me. John, uh, when I asked him, uh, what's the number four? Number four. He took a deep breath. Okay, number seven is, have you ever touched a man's penis in a sexual way? He was deceptive on that. He failed that question. Uh-oh. Uh, right. Get out of here. Yes. Right. I'm talking about you know my own penis. And then, uh, then twelve was have you answered all questions truthfully? In between touching another man's penis to the last question, he, he was uh, deceptive. On wait. all the questions. Wait, well, wait, wait, wait there's wait, only wait. nine questions. No, I mean on, just only on seven he was deceptive. Only on one. Only on one. I was probably thinking about my own penis. Oh no. Sure. Another man's it says. Oh, so another another, another man. man. So you think of your penis as another man's no, he penis? Like, well, he, he was all right. So one question. That's not. Bad. All right. So right, you have. <laughs> Good. But so, you have so touched the guy. No, but I'll take that. But at least they, 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 yes. they, In other words, John's happy to say he touched. Right All right, let's go, let's go to Ralph next. Let's go to Ralph next. From what, when I looked over and I took a look, I think I'd be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Ralph. Okay, Ralph. Oh. Go ahead, Ed. You're doing good. Okay. John, get your hand off my leg, John. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. When I asked him the question number six is. Have you ever given or received anal sex from another man? He just like moved out. He completely moved. I couldn't get any reading on that at all. I couldn't get any reaction. Ralph, well, what does that mean? He what does that mean? Nervous on that question. He got really nervous. Well, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you so couldn't get any reading? So you're saying PM? It says person moved. You moved on that question. Well, yeah, you said because I moved my arm and then you told me not to move. No, I told you not to move. He did that on purpose. He's been reading past, past right. the lie detector. So what are you saying? No, he I tried to avoid you the know, question. I distort the testing. Now. We'll get him back in there then. Yeah, again. I'll right. do it again. What else? What yeah, else, Ed? Okay. I'll do now, this damn number, thing till I pass it. Number, all right. Then, Go ahead. Number eight is: Are you sexually attracted to men? Uh -oh. He was deceptive. Ah! Ah! Again! Ah! Again! He's ah! Oh, you! Did I pass <laughs> any of them? Oh, that's your best friend, Howard. Did, what about, first, oh, so wait. that's only two. Oh, number nine. <laughs> number nine. Those are two Aside bad ones. Right. Are you holding back about gay sex? Right. He was deceptive. No! Oh, no! I didn't talk. I said there was something that happened like I was in grade school and I never really yeah. talked about it. Uh, what happened? So let me take it again. <laughs> let me go again. What happened in grade school? Oh, wait, there's more. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Ed Torian has not finished. Well, well, no, they, oh, my God. Besides those two questions, eight and nine, he was, uh, I couldn't get any uh, reaction to number six. Is uh, Have you ever given or received Dan on sex from another? Ah! You already said that. Wait, what? He moved. All right, all right. Oh, no, but wait, you wait, have wait, to wait. retake the test. Yeah. End of let sentence. Me, Don't let argue. Let me take you got it. It was it was vague on the key question. Because he moved. But you are deceptive about gay sex and no, his he's attraction to men. No, he's deceptive about his attraction to men. Right. Yes. Right. Wow. Dude, you're attracted to guys. I'm not. I knew yes, it. you are, I'm Ralph. Not. Admit it. I'm not. You are. <laughs> all right. Dude. <laughs> Dude, you are. The test don't I, lie. Yeah, like, come on. Look at Ed. He's all right, Ed, what do you got now? Now we're up to Benji. Let me tell you something. There's markings all over this page. All right, let's go to Benji. Benji was deceptive on his name, he was deceptive where he lives, he was deceptive on Tuesday, he was deceptive on March, is this the month of March? Right. Uh, 
Have you ever touched another man's penis? He Are deceptive. you sexually attracted to men? He's deceptive. Yeah, Benji's gay. Wait, 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 wait. When you said, "Is it my name, Benjamin?" I said, "Yes." But you no, were deceptive. And that's a lie. I asked you if your first right. name was Benji, and then you said no, it was Benjamin. Right. I asked you it was Benjamin. Uh, you failed. Okay, me. my name's really Kip. I mean. <laughs> All right, I've been hiding all these years. That's not my real name. What is your real name? It's Kip. Is it Kip? That's because yeah. he's really? skipping. Are you serious? No, it's yeah. a stick again. Are you yeah. doing stick or are you being for real? Am I doing stick? It's Where's your driver's stick. license, stupid? No, I, I, I'm i saying, no, my name's Benjamin. He, you know what? He can't yeah, even be real. I would be real. Ed Torian, just I proved. said yes. How, how, how did he, you know, that's a uh, question. How, did he, when they, how do you fail March? How, how do you, you fail, fail Tuesday? Tuesday? How did he fail Tuesday, Ed? I don't understand. <laughs> the guy's got a problem. You know, was, <laughs> what about the sexuality stuff? Well, from seven through nine, which is, have you ever touched another man's penis? Uh, are you sexu sexually attracted to men? And aside from what you discuss on the air, are you holding back anything about gay sex? Right. And he, he was deceptive. deceptive. And you know what? It makes sense, Ed. I'll tell you why. The guy says to me the other day, uh, you know what? For a couple of million dollars, I'd have uh, gay sex for a year and with a man. You said yeah. you'd do it too, Howard. No, I oh, wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, I never million. said so that. For 90 million, Howard would. said he'd no. do it once for 90 million. So, okay. Howard. So, so that's that. And you'd have to tie me up and sedate me. He said he'd live with the guy for a year. You said you were ready to live with a guy for a year. Howard, for, for a million. A yeah. life mate. Howard, a million. You said, said 300,000. You said for 300,000. Yeah. Wait, wait, Howard. <laughs> All right. Look, look, Next up. Let's go to Ed Torian. Next up is Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Oh, the key Howard question. Let's say how. Uh, Drum roll. Anything below five million. I guarantee you I'm a man. Go ahead, Ed. I think you're attracted to men. You're a man. Up to number seven. <laughs> <laughs> no. I said. You asked me, had you ever touched another man's penis? I said yes. Well, I, yeah, you said yes. So if I, I if I was deceptive, right about that. I was lying. So I haven't. Yeah, you have. Uh, yeah. yeah. See, I admitted that I had. I told you when I was six years old, a boy to asked me to touch it. I didn't. I knew it was wrong, and I walked away. So I answered truthfully. All right, you answered truthfully. But you said you yeah. touched but it or didn't. The thing says you were deceptive. Yeah. Right. All right, so that I was deceptive. So it shows it doesn't work. No, it does work. Went on there. Wait a minute. Go ahead, Ed. Go ahead, Ed. Continue. Have you touched a man besides that? That's the other question. Is that the only one you ever touched? That's the only one. Well, he was truthful man, about as far as that. Uh, right. Because the next one, are well, you sexually attracted to men? You were truthful with that. What did he say? I said no. <laughs> no he was truthful. I'm truthful. Right. Of course I'm not. All right. I'm a hundred percent. I'm so heterosexual. <laughs> Bend over, Robin. <laughs> Me and you, Howard. <laughs> Am I right? Is You're right. There is is there any head? deception Wait, you on there? You got a questionable mind. There is all the all the place. No, Ed, no. is there any deception on there? No. No. I am a hundred percent, a hundred percent man. You passed. You passed. Yep. Just barely, I, I but you that. passed. I, it wasn't yeah. you I was questioning. Of course. Was, look at me. Who's gonna, what guy's going to be with me? It was the huge <laughs> homophobes in this room, Benji. <laughs> All right. Now, the one I'm really concerned Dude, know, about is our director, homophobe, Scott DePace. This is going to blow your mind, Harry. Wait, wait. Scott, come on in here. No, this is Scott, this come on in here. And this is Mr. Republican, This is Mr. Republican. This is I don't like gay people. I am so sure that I passed. You are so sure that you passed. We're going to find out in a minute. Jeff, you claim to be Scott DePace's roommate from college? I live next door. You live next door, yeah. What'd you hear? Well, I can only say that he never had a girl in the room. Huh. There was always tons Who? of guys in the room. Uh, Wait. Uh, uh, Everybody's gone through a dry we spell. We had some great parties. <laughs> All right, let me, let me ask you something, Scott. You have said on the air many times you are not comfortable with homosexuality. I don't know you I wouldn't be that. in a foxhole oh. with a gay guy. Yeah, you said I that. Wouldn't say okay. that. All right. I wouldn't want to be. All right. Now let's find out why you're so afraid of gayness. Uh, I am going to bet right now that you flunked this lie detector test. Well, <laughs> I'll bet I'll that. I'll bet you that yep. I'm not gay. I guarantee you that you have some gay thoughts. No, no, and no. experience. Because I've never you seen a guy. have issues. No. I've never I'm seen a guy. Scott I'm more of a man than Cabby and Ralph put together. No way. No way. I'll tell you something. You're as gay as Cabby. Let's go to Ed Torian. Okay. Here we go. Okay. When I got up to question number six, have you ever given or received anal sex from another man? He, like, jumped. I mean, he completely moved. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then go ahead. So I couldn't get any uh, reaction to that. So then he I was went deceptive. To, yeah. Go well, ahead. Well, then I went to number seven is, have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? He moved again. You know, I told him to stay still. He hey, like, now. Like, you know, he got like... Uh, totally he's afraid. sabotaging the test. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Number then, eight. Are you sexually attracted to men? 
And, uh, he, no, he wasn't. Let me see on that one. No, he passed that one. All right. <laughs> he passed that one. No, I don't think he is. I think I'm, I'm straight. Yeah, I'm but for straight. some reason, I got to tell you something. had gay sex and discovered Howard, he I wasn't gotta tell you something. Yeah. On that question number seven, uh, I'm, I'm, six and seven, for some reason, I mean, he just, like, jumped. I mean, it was... Because uh, he's nervous about answering it, because yeah, something must have happened. I oh, listen, twice. I was the first one to go. What about number nine? Are you... Uh, shocking. You knew what it was about. Was you. Are you... Di- it says here, aside from anything you discussed on the air, are you holding anything back about gay sex? Was he truthful? He was truthful. All right. Uh, Howard, uh, okay. I'm betting. I'm betting these people who jump during the thing. I got some... Somebody sent me uh, uh, information on lie detector tests. I bet if you take his shoe off, he's got a tack in there. No, that doesn't work. Nah, it doesn't work. that doesn't work. Right. Wait a second. Okay. Wait, is wait, there wait, anyone what else I, what left? Do last, one is, last one is me. Okay, Gary Delabate. I believe oh, you're gay. Definitely. Oh, oh, Gary, wow. I'll tell you. I don't think Gary's gay. Gary's sweet. For some reason. <laughs> Gary's a femme, not gay. <laughs> number seven is, have you ever touched another man's penis? And I said yes. You said yes. But I think you were lying about that. <laughs> no, I think, you know what? I don't think I was lying about it. I think I was just, if, if it measures your heart beating... Yeah. A lot of stuff. I You're very nerve- uptight about it. Wait, about you it. get it's excited thinking thing. about it? No, I get nervous. <laughs> and tell me something. Have you ever touched a, a, a number seven? All right. Uh, a number eight, rather. Are you sexually attracted to men? What was the answer? Told me nobody was deceptive. Oh. He was deceptive. I knew it. I know you're into guys. <laughs> and it Gary, says, Gary, what, what about what about number six? Have you ever given or received anal sex from another man? Well, he passed that. That was. Yeah. What about the oral sex? What about number five? Have you ever received or given oral sex? He was good about that. He okay. passed that. But and what about attracted. number? And what about number nine? Aside from what you discussed on the he air, are you holding felt, anything back? He was deceptive. He deceptive. Question. What are you I know holding it. back? You. Yeah. yeah. Wait a second. Ed, did did I fail on both oral and anal, or yes. just on uh, oral? No, you. You, you didn't you fail either. You moved. You kept you, on moving. You made it impossible to get a reading because you're so uptight about it. Yeah. Apparently, you failed on a track. You're such a homophobe. I only He's, moved once, though. Right. I, I didn't move more than once. No, you moved, moved twice. It was, it was, I took a deep breath, though. I mean, you know, it, whatever. You, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not supposed to... I don't, wait, wait. So I got a question. I want to make this again. Are right. you... Because I feel that thing around my arm, and then when he asks a question, then like... You notice how you're a pain in the ass that you can't even take a lie detector test? Did you notice that I sat there and answered all the questions? You can't even do this. I don't know. Dude, go in like a man for once in your goddamn life. (laughs) And put the thing around your arm and say, you know what? Here's the answer. Yes, no, yes, no. Ralph, just tell us that you like guys. What what is it, Al Pacino's baby? I got a question for the uh, gentleman who sounds like he's got a puppy yeah. I want to know, are you telling me that besides Howard, I got flown out here to New York to be surrounded by a bunch of fairies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All of these guys Wait have sex issues what but was, me. What was John's? John's? No, he said that I breathe deep on the touch of man's penis. But, uh, I mean... But oh, oh, please. Homo. Uh, Ed? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because you breathe deep, that means that you're lying? All right, there's only a couple of guys left. we got to get Casey in there. Only Casey and Cabby and Fred. All right, Casey, Cabby, and Fred are the only three left. These guys are all afraid to take the test. They're all afraid. So, Casey, what afraid. Ed, why don't you go set Casey up? You will once you see our questions. All right, you guys go finish up. Ed, thank you, and we'll wait the results on these next three homos. Well, I just have to say, uh, Ralph has failed twice now. Yes. What yes. are you going to say now? You still going to tell me he's straight? He's gay. He has gay thoughts. I'm not good at... I'm, I'm not saying good he ain't acting on... I'm not gay at taking tests. <laughs> Howard, I just want to... He's like, I can't take it. It's, uh, I don't Whether, understand what, what I'm supposed to mean? do. It doesn't work. How does that thing know if you're lying? It ben, knew I was ben, telling the truth. Benji lied about it being Tuesday and March, so uh, how could no, that be? because Benji is a wise ass to the end. That's why he's oh, never going to ever work shit. on this show. Howard, you're never going to make it. Ralph is like JFK Jr. taking the bar. He's just going to keep going and going and going until he's so straight. He right, he right, right, right. Howard, I was not lying. I was absolutely, I was nervous about it, but I tried to tell the truth. Just why answer are you the nervous question. about Tuesday? I did. You lied I don't about every question. question. You lied about everything. Everything. No. Okay, so, but my name is Benjamin. I said yes. Look at the recording. You just said your name was. Okay. I so don't care whether you're gay or straight, to be honest with you. Oh, I don't yeah. care either. either way, I'm not, I have nothing wrong. With you. Oh, who cares what you are? What he's into. Oh, I don't care what you're into. Nobody wants you. You know what? When we come back, also Ed's got the results from uh, John's cab driver from this morning. We did him. Call him. Oh, we forgot about yeah. it. Luis, that guy's a homo. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gay. That's right. Precisely. <laughs> All right. What's with these turkey callers? You want to get to them while they're taking the rest of the test? Who's going next? By the way, I don't want to miss it. Well. Casey's, get, Casey's getting hooked up as we speak. Oh, I got to okay. hear his test. One second. Yeah. All right, Casey's know. getting hooked up. Oh, I got to hear on. this. He's Are they going to ask him a question yeah, about hypochondriac in Minneapolis? Yeah, if it doesn't come back, he's gay. That's proof that, that this doesn't No, work. Ralph, you're gay. 
test, Ralph. You're gay. You can't even take a test. I'm not you're gay. so gay, you can't take a test. Yeah, Dominic, you're on the air. I don't believe it. What? I don't believe your results. Why? Because you spent all your life with Ralph, and he's gay. How can a heterosexual man spend his life with a homosexual man? First of all, you're trying to be funny. Second of all... Uh, I told you he <laughs> has this theory that you're gay. Yeah, and let me tell you something. Ralph is my friend. Ralph and I don't spend that. When's the last time we got together socially? I can't even remember. It's been a while. You know why? I've been with a girl. Yeah, but for years he shaves your back. He nah, he's he's listen, he's, he's a guy. I work on television. He dresses me. That's you know, all. The only weird thing for me has been, like, at your apartment, I've seen that you have, like, that big closet. And I think you said, like, you've been in there in your underwear. Ralph has shown you stuff. Sure. That's weird to me. No, out. I don't I don't have an issue mean. being no. uh, undressed in front of Ralph. I'm a guy. And and this is I'll more about Ralph than it is about Howard. Right. Yeah. Ralph Climbs into bed with him. I him. mean, every time you go to a shower at a gym, are, are you are you looking no, at guys? No, he climbed into bed with me. I don't believe it. So far, the only guy here that's not staring at my balls every five minutes is Stuttering John. <laughs> so let me ask: How many people thought Howard was going to fail, John? No, no only you. Only yeah. you, Dominic. Maybe Dominic. I got the. You're Maybe gay. I have the problem. You I want would me like to be to gay. hook you up because you are in love with Howard. Yeah, let's hook up Dominic. Yeah, Dominic. I don't think they make a belt wide enough though. <laughs> Put around that massive they, barrel they have, chest. They have a special extender. Don't be jealous. But Dominic, why, you, why do you have this theory that I'm gay? I'm so straight. I'm married 25 years. Answer the question, Dominic. Aren't you in love with Howard? No. Come on. No. Tell me you wouldn't have sex with me if I if I asked you no, to. No, I've never had a homosexual experience. Isn't he the man of your one. dreams? Except Dominic, did you once fix Except a card one. game so that Howard would win it? Yes. Yeah, that's, love. that's gay. That's love. Oh, stop it. Dominic, I, Dominic, tell I, the truth. But that one question, have you ever touched a man? He said yes, yes, but he didn't say only time when I was a kid. Well, then no, because later on he asked me the question yes. again. He said, aside from anything you discussed on the air, are you holding back anything about gay sex? I and said no, that. and I passed it. Dominic, would you like to see how it's penis? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way there. I'm taking the test. Good. Uh, Get in here. He's in love with you. Wow. Homo. He wanted you to fail. He so wanted me to be gay. And he could be together. <laughs> Well, I'm in the batter's box is KC. Oh boy. So Look at all, a nervous all the questions man. are the same except for me. My <laughs> questions are different. Why is that? Because, because you've already admitted to gay oh, sex. Okay. Right. You know. Yeah. What, why are you getting nervous? I'm not getting nervous. I, I actually Mr. shouldn't even have Mr. to. I mean, open book. I don't care. I don't care if you take the test. You've admitted to everything. But right. look so. at Casey. He's a nervous man. <laughs> Some people think I'm I'm full of it though. They don't think I'm real. I've really done these things. No, I don't think you admit that unless you've done it. <laughs> if you did that for unless a bit, you're then binge -y. and you're crazy. It's yeah. a long way to go for attention. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go. bring up the microphone and listen to Ed Torian and KC. Just chewing gum, throw off the results. Get rid of the gum. Would you like to wrestle with me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. KC's going to go. Here we go. Okay, KC, just look straight ahead. Try not to move for a minute, buddy. That's it. Get Try not to gum, move. Oh, you got gum in your mouth. Yeah, it sounds like Ed's okay. trying to give it to him. <clears throat> Shh. Everybody calm down. That's it. Henry Rollins, sexy. <laughs> Try not to move, KC. Just look straight at you. Doing good, buddy. That's it. Would you like to give? If you want your... to close your eyes? You can close your eyes. I don't KC. care what you say. The hair on his face is gay. Yeah. Would you, Would you like to give the Gabi Gouda Henry Rollins? That's it, buddy. Just look straight ahead. Put this on. Will we on the air with this? He's KC. This is like taking the SAT again. Oh, he's gonna pass out. He's so nervous. Hey, look at him. You know he could cheat to pass that one. All right. Okay. Okay, Casey, look straight ahead. If you want to close your eyes, you can close your eyes. Casey. Yeah. You can relax by that you way. You better turn off your brain. Casey's like, I would never close my eyes around another man. No, he's closing his eyes. All right, just look out. straight ahead. Yeah. Try not to move. Casey okay. looks relaxed. Gary, you're gaming now. You What's your first name, Casey? Uh, Kyle, you, Kyle Casey. Are you known as Kyle? Yes. I guess. Well, it's. Oh, oh my God. he can't even get you the. See, this is what happens every time. Uh, all right. Just throw out the question. <laughs> Do you live in New York State? Yes. Do you have gay facial hair? <laughs> <laughs> is today Tuesday? Yes. Uh, Do you think Dan Marino has a nice ass? <laughs> yes. Is this the month of March? Yes. He doesn't even know. That's a lucky guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't asked him anything he knows so far. Hey. Think so. Here, here, here it comes. Have you ever received or given oral sex to another man? <laughs> no. 
Oh, that sounded bad. <laughs> that sounded bad. Look, I see that. Look at that thing move. Yeah. Oh, Ed's, Ed's freaking out. I want the results right away. Casey uh, in the yeah. house. <laughs> he's, he's, he's marking that it's deceptive. Yeah, you, you think know, so? Yeah. yeah. He put the little mark on it. Mm -hmm. that be Have you ever given or received anal sex from another man? No. Oh, 4.5 on his the right His voice, oh. voice cracked. Big oh. check. Big check. Oh, boy. Look at, look at that meter going nuts. <laughs> Doesn't prove anything. Spiking. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. Have, <clears throat> have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? No. Oh, look at that thing. It's off the hook. It's knocking the other ones over. It, the, the needle is going wild. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> the, the needle just took horny goat weed. What the hell are you laughing at? Are you sexually attracted to men? No. Oh, watch the needle. Whoa! Oh, look at it's, 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 it's actually pin. I don't know what that means, but it's pinning off the. I think he beat me. It not does That's what's needle. called a galvanic skin response. A galvanic skin response. All right, well, keep right. going. Keep going, Ed. Don't scare him. Don't listen to us. Aside from what you discuss on the air, are you holding anything back about gay sex? No. Oh, watch the needle. Look. Look, it can't I can't help it. This is funny. This guy is so oh gay. Oh, my God. This guy is so freaking gay. <laughs> Let's buy him a dress. Howard, all those ones are <laughs> yeah, Ed, Ed, give him a dress. Ed, give me the results right now if you can. Have right. you answered the truth? Yes. Look. No, I was laughing. The truth. Uh, Does that, ah, yeah. look at him trying to. Look at him trying to. Trying truth. to throw it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> <laughs> Ed, give yeah. us the results right now. Ed's never coming back. Oh. Ed doesn't even want to he's sit in here, kids. He's, <laughs> he's disgusted by this guy. <laughs> Did you have him sign that release yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Still sign the release, sign the release Casey. Yeah, he wants results. to give him the <laughs> real result. <laughs> right. Give us okay. the result right now, Ed. Okay. You got it right in front of you. All right, you have the questions in front of you. Which one? Okay, here we go, Ed. Number five. Have you ever received or given oral sex to another man? He was deceptive. Oh. <laughs> uh, I saw the needle. My I got a question. Right. And Ed, are there different levels of deception? Because it seemed like Casey's was a large level. Well, you know Dude. what it is. This he got it. worse as it went along. Uh, you know, when I was laughing. Get the mic on it. God, but you know, it bothers KC. These questions bother him. Yeah. No, you they know, don't bother me. I don't care. He just re, re you know. Is he lying very heavily? Uh, yeah, number six, uh, number six he was. All right, number six, have you ever given or received anal sex for another man? You're saying, he said no, he's lying. Yeah, he's lying about that. <laughs> Look, it is, uh, he's uptight about those questions. <laughs> have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? He said no. Right. Is he, he was, lying? He was deceptive. Deceptive. <laughs> Are you sexually attracted to men? What oh, did he say? He said, what? go ahead. Well, that one is no doubt. He's, I, he's definitely, he, he said no, but he's deceptive. He's attracted to all sorts of men. All, all sorts, sorts of, of men. men. Hey, Casey, what are you doing later? <laughs> oh, this, this, you, Aside from what you discussed on the air, are you holding anything back about oh, K-Sex? definitely. He was deceptive on that one. Oh. He was. Yeah, definitely. You're he a homo, Casey. Yeah. You right. failed every question. <laughs> you failed. I'm telling you. No, you, see, you see me laughing, right? Hey, Howard. Yeah. How the girls in the office are going, oh, no, Casey's gay. Yeah, well, <laughs> number one, he wets his bed. Number two, he has trouble getting it up for girls. That's it. He's gay. He Stop. I'm not gay. The evidence is in. I'm telling you. Look, I'm a man. Really? Of my, I'm a man of my word. I'm telling you, I'm not gay. All right. <laughs> no, you he just haven't done anything. Sign the anything. release. <laughs> but if, if you've even failed that on the test. Hey, by the way, uh, guess who's on the phone? Irma, who is Dominic's ex-wife. Oh my gosh. Irma. Hi. Hey, Irma. How are you? Is that really you? Um, I just wanted to say that the person that can straighten you all out is Dominic. All you have to do is see him naked. You'll all be straight. Ah! Wow. <laughs> Irma, is the divorce going bitterly? No, it isn't going anywhere. Really? It's just, yeah. I'm very sad about it, by the way. Why? Because I'm sad to you see you guys break up. We like you as a couple. I, I like uh, Irma. She's nice. Yeah. I like Irma. Is she hot? Yeah. Irma's hot. She's, She's cute. sweetheart. Yeah. She's cute. Very hot right now. Oh. What do you mean? What are you doing? I've gotten hotter. I've lost weight. I look... I'm, I'm ready to go out. Uh -oh. Really? Dime you're date, you're ready to... Would you let... Uh, do me a favor, though. Yeah? If you get custody of the Shelter Island house, can I still use it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and I'll even get you a long bed. Are you going to take Dominic to the cleaners? Um, I don't think so. Really? Yeah, I don't want to fight. Nice gal. Nice gal. Fighting. Really? Want to go on a date? What are you saying? You're ready to date? Yes. Really? Yes. 
Howard? Dial a date. Set me up, Howard. Imagine I go out with Dominic's ex-wife. Why don't you just take a wooden spike and drive it through the man's heart? <laughs> no, I can't go out with you, Irma. That would be great. Irma, I can't go out with you because Dominic would freak. Yeah, but so what? <laughs> well, I still want to be friends with Dominic. He'll be mad at me. No, I think you can do anything to Dominic. Howard, the truth is, if she gets everything, just be friends with her. Do yeah. you think Dominic is in love with Howard? I think there's a possibility. Yeah. yeah. I think that could be one of the questions that you can ask him when he's hooked <laughs> up to the lie detector. Okay. Absolutely. I'd say that he's titillated by Howard. Oh. You think I had something to do with the end of the marriage? Um, you know, I can't really tell. I, I'm afraid that Dominic got this thought about getting separated as a result of my separation. Yes. I'm not so sure. Can't tell, really. Hmm. He had a good thing here. I'm not sure why he did what he did. Yeah. Oh, with you, you're great. Well, I don't know about that, but... You, know. you are great, let me tell you. She is great. Robin. She is great. I'm getting better. See, this is why I people... I am getting better. This is why people just shouldn't get married. Like, oh, you feel bad for Irma well. now, you know? Married. You're right. Don't don't guys, guys just can't stay married. Marriage just, don't is a marry. very hard thing don't to stay. Marry. It is. It's very hard. It's not natural. It's so unnatural. It's Treat very it unnatural. You ready to have sex with a thin man? Um, you? With yes. a big nose? You know how I always felt bad. Thank you, Arma. Whenever we go to a function, yes. you'd see them together, and you'd look at her, and you'd look at him, and you'd say, she's so nice that she's so normal. And in your mind, you would try to figure out how they actually had sex, right. because you just couldn't well, imagine him squishing her. You know, Arma, I meant to give you a call, and I've been, I, I plead I've guilty. I've been about no, doing it, too. I should. I'm going to give you a call, because... Give me a call. I'd like to speak to you. Absolutely. I don't want to uh, lose our friendship. No, absolutely not. All right, Arma. Absolutely Irma. not. Okay, well, you have the antidote. Dominic naked could straighten you all out. We'll, we'll have to put that uh, to the test with KC. Yeah. Were you not turned on by Dominic naked? Well, <laughs> uh, I can't say anything. <laughs> How could she be? How could she be? How could she be? Dominic's big. Not you know, well. as a gay man, he didn't excite you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dominic's going to lose. Now that I could pass. That's right. Dominic has to be sort of lifted and pulled out, you know, and readjusted. Right. Oh. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to? Are you going to? Oh. So you're ready to start dating? Is yes. what you're saying? Yes, Already. Wow. Yes, I am. How about a gangbang? <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Cabby. Oh, circle thing. I don't think so. No, she's Cabby not that kind of girl. Right there no, with five of his friends. <laughs> Chabby can bring over paratroopers. Gay paratroopers. But uh, give me a call. I'd like to speak to you. I'd love to talk to you. And uh, are you going to take? Are you going to go after the uh, Shelter Island house? I think we'll probably both own it. I see. I think it'll be like that. There's no, I have no reason to fight about anything. I think right. I'm going to go out with you know, Irma. You know, it's only there were just things. Ralph, really you should go out with I Irma. Go out with Irma. Would you go out with Ralph on a date? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Ralph, would you uh, like me to make dinner for you? Oh, oh sure. that's great. I'm a great cook. That would kill Dominic. You want, oh, I love that this because he's always calling you gay. Dominic. I would love to have dinner with Perfect. her. Oh, I, really, I'm a great cook. Come over for dinner. I have great music. The house is great. Uh -oh. Come over. You could use the... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. House. Think about this. <laughs> think about this for a second. Yes. Ralph is over at Dominic's house. Enjoying the stereo. With the candlelight. All the money that Dominic made went into that house. And the cooking. And the candlelight and cooking. And you just relax and, and put your feet up. And then Dominic comes over and then, like, I won't let him in. You oh, Herman doesn't want to see you now. Oh. Dominic has a hot tub in the house? Whatever you want. I you have a hot tub in the house? And Ralph in the hot tub. Ralph, Irma. We have a great time here. Oh, oh my God. Well, all right, make a date right now. Right okay. now. Right now, Ralph. Sure. Seriously. When are you free, yeah. Ralph? Ralph, Ralph, when are you free? I'm always free. <laughs> He's free. When? Uh, this weekend, maybe. How about any night? Uh, How about tonight? Okay, How about tonight? How about I can't go out tonight. Why not? Because I have stuff to do. All right. Well, this is a hot uh, check, and she wants to go share Dominic's wealth with you. I'll call, Friday I'll call night. her. You're going to call her off the air. How about yeah. Friday night? Give us the date so we know. Friday night. Let's do this. You yeah, got it. At the end of this week. Okay. Friday night? Yeah, like Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What Thursday? Friday, Friday, Saturday. Make a date. Friday night. Irma's saying my schedule. What, what, okay. Make a date. I told you he's gay. Uh, you don't know. I, uh, oh, no, Dominic's I on there? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, Dominic's on. He's freaking. Oh, Hold on. too bad for Dominic. Oh, Dominic's hey, Dominic. Out of the picture. First of all, <laughs> first of all, I told my wife that she could call. I gave her the number. Yeah. Yes. And number two, she's... I asked to call. You didn't. You gave her the number. Oh, uh, that's our therapist talking. <laughs> number two. Well, she didn't. She doesn't need your permission to call. I don't need your permission for anything. <laughs> <laughs> and she certainly doesn't need your permission to exactly. date Dominic. Dominic, Ralph's going to go out with Irma. Absolutely. 
I just drove into the river. <laughs> <laughs> I drove into the Wait a minute, it's worse, Dominic. Ralph's coming over to your house, the house to Dominic. date your wife. Hey, Dominic, do you have a hot tub over there? Yes. You do? And he could meet Harvey the horse, who he'll love. You have horses? Yes. yes. I can I stay horses. for the weekend? Wow. Well, can he stay the whole weekend? Yes, he can. Oh! oh. oh this is going to be great. Oh. Fabulous here. Oh. Oh. oh, this sounds fun. Oh. You it's great. Dominic, are you still there? Hot tub. I think I hear Dominic taking his own life. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic. I, wait a minute. I, just can't, the, I can't breathe. <laughs> this is the greatest thing. I, this is the greatest oh, thing. Because you're so fat. Irma, this is the greatest thing I've ever heard. First of all, yeah. I'm on 80. I'm so happy. Excuse me, I'm on. Uh, don't cut me off. You know, Ralph has a I'm good not cutting body. You yeah, I mean, Ralph's a, Irma, don't cut me off. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on 87th Street coming up with my lie detector. Uh, Never mind your lie detector. Ralph, you better get out of here. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Irma, Ralph, says, uh, Irma says you'd set her straight if you just get naked. Ralph, <laughs> I heard. <laughs> Can we get back to the hot tub? Wait Ralph? a second. Wait a second, Dominic. Don't control the conversation. You're too controlling. Ralph, <laughs> yes. you are saying you're going over for the weekend at Dominic's house Yes. to do horseback riding. Are you going to be in the hot tub nude? I don't uh, know about nude. Well, uh, can I can I do we'll the see. horse? Well, wait a second. We'll see if things go that way. Who knows? I like Irma. We're friends. We're going to hang out with thing. her. Let's we'll see what That'd happens. Be. You know, if anything can happen. Yeah. Right. Exactly. I love not that. to know. Is a massage out of the question? <laughs> you know, you never know, I don't have a massage. <laughs> but I think Irma I would have massage Michael there. Why don't you massage Irma? Yeah. I'll give her a massage. And I could massage you, too. Sure. Listen, listen. Irma, can, Dominic, Irma, you wouldn't mind, would you? Irma can massage who she wants, and so can um, uh, Casey? Uh, Ralph. But, Cabby, you go near my house, I'll put a bullet in your head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Cabby, Cabby's not coming. It's Ralph. Cabby. Ralph is... Let me Ralph? tell you something. Let me tell you something, Irma. Yes? Ralph has a good body. Yes. He's an attractive guy. Face is a mess, so. but and uh, listen, I do. I do. some gabi go. Um, Dominic Barber has joined us, which is so great. He just got separated from his wife Irma. Irma called in and made a date with Ralph for this weekend, and I can't tell you what a great bit that is. Don't tell me that doesn't I don't bother want you. Want it to be a bit? What do you I mean a bit? Well, I mean a bit that we're going to hear about on the radio. You're going to go yeah, out I with Irma. Hang out with her, right? Yeah, sure. It's going to be a bit painful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that doesn't freak you out, Dominic. And don't try to act all pleasant about it. He's going to act cool about it, but he knows it bothered him. Right. Why, I, why would you be upset if Ralph was going out? You know, actually, life? in all seriousness, if it really bothers you, Dominic, I won't. But I don't think it does. I mean, but He's too proud to admit that it bothers him. I mean, how so could, go. <laughs> no, you, I've got to go. No, you have to tell me now, Dominic. Well, it could be worse. See, he won't. I'm ordering you now to go. And, order I'm ordering her, you, ordering and I'm ordering you not to go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's got to do what his heart tells him. I'm just wondering now that Dominic. I love it. I just wonder now that Dominic's <laughs> single. Maybe I should hang out with him because he's know, got nothing going just, on. Yeah, but he'll I go, want to know who you want to really go out with. Be honest, Ralph. No, I don't want to go out with you, but I would hang with you. No, yeah. no, no. Be honest now. Ready? <laughs> it's me or Irma. You got to make a choice, and I'm not kidding. Think about it carefully. Oh, yeah, I, I got it. Uh, so you can't deal with it. Look, Don't fall for that. As long as you that. have Howard, you can never lose Dominic. You're not going to lose Dominic. Trust me. If I bring you somewhere, we it's going to... Uh, where can we go this weekend, Dominic? Wherever you want, Ralph. <laughs> Irma, Ralph. where can we go this weekend? Ah. Dominic's not going to hang out with you, you otherwise. You know where I want to go this weekend? I'm serious. <laughs> where? I want to leave Thursday for Vegas. Three days, you and I. Just gamble. Have a good he time. He so doesn't want you. Don't fall for it. He's going to drive you into a wall. He's willing <laughs> I go, to take I got, I got a ticket town. from the Hard Rock I need to cash. No, 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 no. You just stick to your date with Irma. Trust me. That's why this is all coming about. Hey, if Irma doesn't like Ralph, she likes big guys. That's <laughs> obvious from seeing this cat. What about my shot? Yeah. <laughs> Ask her out. I'll give her the goods, man. Ask her out. I will. I definitely will. Uh, I'm a stud, man. I'm a stud. I'm taking a go in there myself. Six wow. orgasms in one night, Dominic. Huh. Dominic, you know, Dominic how big is that is house full. we have? I mean, you have. <laughs> Which one? Can you imagine you've worked your entire life? Ralph is your worst, worst nightmare. You've worked your entire life. Irma, of course, gets half of your fortune. And then Ralph is at your house. <laughs> well, let's get to it. I think we ought to bring him in. Uh, is, Dominic, that, is that the gentleman I met outside who almost beat up? 
<laughs> he would not give you a lie detector. Uh, he wanted me to pay him five hundred dollars. What well, happened to Ed? He used to come in for free, and, I don't and then know. we offered him. That was um, a cash and carry. Business. Give out his business cards. Yeah, He's yeah but the last time he was on, he was a little weird. Remember that with the girls? And yeah. Little excited. He's nah, he was. Very, he's what? always been great. Ed's a great he guy. He never complains when it's girls. I think it was because it was a bunch of it's guys. Just a bunch of homos. Too right. many gay guys. Right. He <laughs> Maybe he got excited. Brush up on any boobies. Maybe Jackie got a hold of him. Told him to hold out for some money. You know, they make an awful lot of money there. Ed, what happened? You wouldn't give Dominic the lie detector? You're getting the... Uh, you did 10. You're tired. You're tired. It's yeah. too How much work. How many can you usually do in a day? No, I keep doing just so many. Okay. It wasn't sex. It was a test. Yeah, I see the thing. <laughs> Ed all of a sudden became it's a star. Not breaking yeah. rocks. I remember in the old days. Yeah, he's not digging a ditch, Ed. I remember the old. <laughs> I remember the old days. Ed Thorium was like a guy. Hey, you want a lie detector? Yeah, give you one. And I remember when you called somebody. Out. Somebody what? got a hold of you. Who me? Yeah, somebody gave you a talk. Oh, he sounds like Beetlejuice. Who grabbed you in? You no, know? oh, one of your you partner or something. Ed looks like a different guy. He's got his hair combed, new black suit shirt. Yeah. He used to call Howard Sir the first time you came. <laughs> no, never, never, no, never. Never would do that. Never, never a never. sir. Ed, let's go right to the tests. Okay. okay. We're not going to get the truth out of Ed. First of all, with Fred. <laughs> okay. Fred's got some problems. Oh! I knew it. Oh! No, I know. I called it. We first? didn't need you to tell me that. I called it. I called it. Does, Ed, does, he, does he have a gun? Do you have a gun on you? Please, Dominic, don't ruin my bet. It's the okay. Dominic show. Now. So, yeah. what are Fred's problems? Uh, okay, number six. All, okay, first of all, number five. Fred was deceptive on his first name. Oh God! Right, well, because his is. name is Eric. <laughs> He's confused. <laughs> no, he, it's. Uh, I asked him if it's Fred. And yeah, what did he but say? He changed it. <laughs> he told me yes. <laughs> yeah, well, he was lying. So he, his he was real lying. name. His legal name is Eric. His real legal yeah, name so is Eric. Right. So, does this right. prove that the test is right or what? Right, yeah. right Freddie? Yeah, no, yeah it Casey. doesn't. It just proves that I am confused yeah. about my name. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Ed. Fabulous work so Very far. Good, okay. <laughs> Number five. Have you ever received or given oral sex to another man? What did Fred say? This one was uh, number six. Oh, Number five. Right. Have you ever received the next a next one he was deceptive on and I don't have the questions with you. Number five, I'll give you the questions. Number ever received number, number five. Seven. He wants to he said the deceptive well, was number seven. Number seven, he's deceptive. I don't have the questions. Okay, number seven. Right. Have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? Right. He was deceptive on it. Deceptive. Yes. I never have. What about is yeah, that no. the only one he was deceptive oh, on? No, no, when I finished with that one. Go ahead. <laughs> Get the mic next to Ed, please. Number eight, whatever number eight is. Are you sexually attracted to men? Right, he was deceptive. He, he said was. no. I he laughed was actually at that question. And sure number still lying. yeah, that means you're lying. Number no, nine. Aside from what you discussed on the air, are you Just holding anything? Silly. Are you holding anything back no, about he, gay he, sex? He passed that. You passed that. Okay, all right. That was no problem. So you feel he's deceptive that he is attracted to men? <laughs> no, that's not what he, he said. Is the, yes, he it is, is. number not, eight. That's are you sexually attracted to men? And he said that you said he is. I'm saying you are. I laughed at that question. Come on, Ed. Speak. Into the microphone. No, he uh, he likes men. He likes men. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> if Thank you. you. Say so, Ed. I guess I'm doomed for life. Let's go to Crazy Cabby, who was the last person you did. Oh, poor Cabby. Is he the only one left? We asked Cabby the following questions. I'm going to jump to number um, four. Is everything you said on the air about gay sex true? Number four. Well, that might be a different question for Ed. Well, he was truthful about that one. He was. Number five is, uh, oh, wow. uh, number six, rather, are you gay? He was deceptive. He failed that question. I knew he was. Because he said no, but he is gay. He's gay. He's gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> he told us on the air that his last gay experience was in 1996. Was your last gay experience in 1996? He said yes. And he was deceptive. Oh. He was deceptive. He's had others. Right. Uh -huh. so are you attracted to Howard Stern? How did he answer that? He, he said, uh, no, but he's attracted to you. Ah, he is. No. He is attracted to you. I knew so it. The dude, the dude calls me five times oh, a day. Yeah, he's attracted, but in a sexual way? Yeah. Or just attracted? He's no, attracted. No, no, yeah, I'm, attracted. I'm attracted to your, to your whole thing, sure, man. Sure, sure, sure. Have you ever told... And then finally, number nine, Ed, have you told us everything about your gay experiences? Uh, he was... <laughs> he was deceptive, right? He was deceptive. Oh, he's he's got a lot more to tell you. He does. He does. does. He's holding back I said that I never told. I, I no. you said, have I told everything? I said no. Because yeah, you I haven't. haven't. You I haven't. haven't. You haven't. No, and haven't. you've been having other gay experiences besides yeah. 1996. 1996. Hey, dude, admit it. I couldn't remember the exact year. It's been a while ago. Mm. Yeah, like a week. 
Dude, you are 100% you know, homosexual. Like, oh, Ed can't even look at him oh, now. He's like, so Ed, <laughs> is it fair to say, after a full show of this, that the only two guys who are sort of dealing in a real manly way is myself and Stuttering John? That's right. That's John it. only had one problem. Right. Touching penis. No, he's got penis. penis. <laughs> so the only guy, Casey was gay. Casey well, is so gay. <laughs> What is going uh, on here? Uh, <laughs> we knew we knew that Cabby right. Ka Kathy, whatever his name is, is gay. <laughs> yeah. But now it turns out he's even more gay than we thought. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, Ralph right. has gay issues. That's Fred right. has gay issues. That's it's right. exactly as I predicted oh, down the line. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for straightening this out. I'm telling you, these guys are all. I'm sitting in a room full of homos. I'm, I'm, I'm the only man here. <laughs> I'm Ed, you have man. uncovered something oh. today. Like you wow. would even look. Like Ed's Ed. gonna pass out. Ed's gonna cry. <laughs> See, this is a lot for him. You know what? Ed, was Jan that what it was? Oh, it it was draining for you. It's not so bad when we have the girls in here, but when it's all the gay guys. Oh, I'm telling. Yeah, it's just talking. All you. these facts. Because Ed's all man. Yeah, Has uh, Ed I ever flushed out this many thing. gay guys in one sitting? <laughs> you know, I can read the test. <laughs> Let's do Ed. Oh. I can read the test. Ed, Ed is all man. Oh, Ed Torian is all man. I wasn't deceptive. I just moved. <laughs> hey, Howard. Howard, uh, speaking of cabbie, one more thing. Angry Black showed up outside. He wants to yell at him. Oh, no. Well, that's one thing, but Ed Torian, I want to thank you. Okay, Howard. Yeah, From Torian Investigations. To, uh, okay, Howard, yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks, Ed. Okay, you did a great buddy. job today. I know it was very taxing for you. Yeah, yeah thanks a lot. Very good. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, there's a lot of gays in here. You know, it's thanks okay a lot, in this room. It's, Ed's afraid he'll be converted. Uh, thank you, Ed. <laughs> You know, We're gonna give you exhausted? Your career is not shot. You uncovered a lot of gayness, and there's nothing wrong with no, it. His wallet's just full. He's got to carry it. That's why he's exhausted. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna sit in the middle of those guys dominant. <laughs> Get out of here, you. <laughs> Get out, Ralph. Homo. Big homo. <laughs> Ralph, hey, you're gay. Hey, Cabby, go, go no, I'm not thing. gay. That's ridiculous. I, Do you see how I can? Am I gay? All works. I knew Fred had issues. Yeah. Well, I'm going to ask you a question. That means you're gay. No. Nope. Because you surround yourself with gay men. No. Nope. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out that I'm not. But you're See, one of the gay You're bag hag. You know what? You I'll tell you so something. Bad. You are so good at the scene. No. You're so good at hiding. No. I'll tell you the truth, Fred. As a matter of fact, I, know, never, I, know I, never had these, I never had these feelings or thoughts until you put them in my head. Oh! I knew you were gay until, no, no. when I saw you drunk and you had That's gay true. rich and you were loving him. Like, oh, I yeah. never saw you uh -huh. be loving toward a man or right. woman. And right. I never, I didn't it. see that scene, but I you remember some, I Howard's remember reaction it. was, but let's Fred's gay. I don't, I don't uh, by the way, I don't that, hold it against you. I love you. Oh, yeah. You're but my brother. No, no, but I'm shocked. I mean, Fred, how could you say Howard put these thoughts in your head? Because, because he's, he's so easily no, he's, manipulated. He's always the one that's like saying, oh, I think you're gay. I think you're gay. It's like, and of course you're going to start asking questions. You, you have gay feelings. Like, I, I rubbed the gay juju yeah, on wait, in the hall again. All the guys who are... Listen, you know how you know I'm hetero? Beside Ow. everything else Ow. that I look heterosexual... I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> you are? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> you look you do? I'm not uptight <laughs> about gayness. It's uh, not an issue for me. Then why do you bring it, it up? Live and let you. live. No, it is an issue. Let's why do you bring it up? No. Howard. 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 I, have to, I, have I am not a homophobe. You're hiding something. But right. wait a minute. Let's ask the following issues. I passed the test. I don't what? think you're hiding anything. I you, think you're uptight about it. Oh, oh, I'm so uptight. I flunked the test, right? <laughs> Everybody like you who flunked, Howard. You can't, even, you can't even answer the questions if you're gay or not. You're so screwed up. I didn't say you had anything. You couldn't even. You were like, Ed, I don't know how to take the test. What do I say? I'm just saying. I passed. Go ahead. You always hang around around with gay guys. Yeah. Well, that's I, true. I you have didn't no problem. You realize you were hanging around you, with so many gay guys. You tell you the truth, I, who knew they were all gay? You had four I thought Cabby was straight. Hey, if you're not gay, then right? let me bang you. <laughs> what? Father issues. My no, father and I issue, get along issue, fine. But there was still an issue of... Well, why do you want it wasn't a gay, gay issue, so Dominic. I always had him as gay. I have to apologize. Yeah, well, gay. I'm so and all man. You have no idea. So with people who are, I have had sex no with a man. Cares. What is it, John? <laughs> and KC, funny? I knew you were gay. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm not gay. All right? Dude, the lie detector. No, the lie detector has and it's no water. All, all right, it's all wrong. Enough. Casey, Casey, the only one who doesn't these gay friends. know you're gay is you. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm not gay. It just proved my point. Let's guys. go to double A. Double A's on the phone. Hey, Casey, you big fat. Congratulations, Howard. Thank you. No homo there, buddy. No problem, Bob. Well, boy, is it all around? You and Johnny Boy pass with flying Me and John, we are not attracted to men. All you guys do is boy. Kick an ass. Go after the women. Thank you. Howard, let me, just, let me just tell you one thing, okay? All the people in here, what is it, about eight people, right? They right. say 10% uh, of the population is gay, right? Right. This guy said that over. 
over half of us was gay. Come on. Yeah. So what? It's a so bunch what? of crap. That doesn't it's a matter. Hot bed of you're, in, you're in the show business. Right. <laughs> right. The happens. industry you're in has a lot of gays. Seventy-five percent of, of so them. So you tell me, I had about eighty guys in my football team. You tell me a couple of those guys were gay? Absolutely. Yes. No. And you were one no. Of them. no. No. We're telling you, you were one hey. of the gay guys. Joe, you're uh, you're Probably on the air. Walk in the Yes. Hey, I got proof that Candy's gay. How do you know? I got. I won a prize from K Rock, and he made me come up for four more sex on him. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. there you go. Yeah, and you were you were no good. By the way, Cabby, I think when you should was... have learned. You should have learned something from your test. You're a gay man. I'm not gay. Howard. And feel good about it. I'm you know what? Add one I feel good about the fact that I was able to come on this you show should. and and, and you be should. perfectly honest. You should. And you know what? I feel good about the fact that my point was proven. That's room, and a lot of rooms around this world. There's men who've had either thought about it or done it, and they all deny it. And you know what? I don't have to deny it, and neither do you. You were hundred percent right. I you was... admitted your gayness, and let me say something. Okay. Come you out. were right about the men in this room. Yep. A lot of them in here have gay tendencies. And the lie detector wait proved minute, it. Wait a minute. There could be one Fred, more you factor. included. Oh, yeah. You there included, too. There could be another factor. <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, I mean, your book, Miss America. How about put on the, a dress. How about I could put men. on a dress from here tomorrow. I ain't going to have to think uh, about gay sex. Yeah, yeah. You're just trying to think out. You're just trying to think Howard, can I ask you a funny question? I don't mind putting on a dress. Oh, my God. What about the factor? I'll put on a broad Wait a second, Dom. Let me ask you. Hey, Fred. Yeah, hon. Do you think maybe the, the oh. reason why it was it, the, that you that you fell was, was because you had gay rich on your lap and stuff? You think maybe that was why? It was no, gay. No, oh. I was pissed off that I had to wait so goddamn long, and it's like oh. everybody's, everybody's like in here. Everybody's got an excuse. No, no, what, no, Robin. Well, 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 here's well, well, the deal. What? Everybody's getting on the air, and given the results of the test, this one flunked, that one flunked. It's like, and after a while, you're going, Jesus Christ, what chance do I have? I don't oh, think my all these God, other guys Fred, are gay. stop it. Oh, no. Stop what? Stop it. it. Hey, stop Fred. What? Gay if you've hey, thought Fred. about it. I mean, it doesn't really mean you're gay. Hey, Fred. I mean, come on. Do you think it was gay having gay rich in your lap? I have no idea. I don't even recall it, it, John. I really don't it was remember. A tender, it was a tender moment. Was I really don't remember. Tender you know, moment. It was, it was hey, Fred, what's the big deal? So you're gay. Who cares? Yeah, but there I'm could be gay. one more That's factor. Right. That's right. <laughs> you know, maybe John. You can say it all you want. He's really upset about, about it. Oh, he is. And yes. the idea that he... Hey, I didn't flunk the test. Wait a minute. Did, uh, I don't the believe that. The idea that he got more gay as he heard results. Yeah. No, but That's the worst argument I've ever heard. How about the That's not what I said, Robin. I said nervous. Are any of you uh, guys taking any anti-anxiety drugs? Because that affects your results. Fred John. isn't. No. It does I'm taking Luvox for OCD, It Dominic. affects the lie detector. I don't test. care. Oh, you know what? You're saying that the, John whatever. Could the following is. people oh, were shown to have yeah. gay thoughts. And this, I'm going to end this discussion. Yeah. The following go. people. How about you, Howard? Do you take anything? Like Nothing. Relaxing Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. The matter. following people were... Come on up in, man, you over didn't take anything today. No. The following people and their results... Have gay tendencies. All right, who are they? Ralph. Right. No, it didn't say oh, said I moved. Shush, Fred Ralph. Norris. Oh, yeah. It said I moved. Howard Fred Stern. Norris. Howard no, Stern. I had nothing. Yes, you do. No, oh, okay. wait a minute. Stop it. You're trying to give a list, and I can't even hear. I you. will give you the list again. With I can get I get uh, no interruption. Fred Norris. No. <laughs> I'll do it again. I'll start again. Start it all. Start again. Start it all. You want. Start again. Here I go. I'm gonna start again. Fred no. Norris. <laughs> Fred Norris, no. Eric Norris, no. and Fred Norris, no. and Howard Stern. Okay, <laughs> Ralph, no, KC. Oh, no. Go suck a big fat one because it wasn't me. Oh, KC, suck it. <laughs> a, a, a man who admitted to gay sex yeah, and I, it's told him like cabby. Right. Whatever. And there you go, Reggie. And you and yep. I and John are the only ones. That, well, you didn't. Uh, take you, it. Didn't you didn't take it. Out. You didn't take it. But we all know. And I know Fred's angry about it, but I passed. Yeah. Yep. You I'm not pass. angry about it. I'm angry about the fact you're trying to characterize me in a specific. I'm just saying. All I'm not, I saying don't the mind. Test. I don't mind that I flunked the test. Right. I didn't right. The following pass. people flunked the test. Why wouldn't you expect to pass it, Fred? Because these things spook me. The following people <laughs> flunked the test. Would you be fair with that? Uh, okay. The following fine. people flunked the test. Fred Norris. <laughs> Eric, Eric Norris. <laughs> Eric Norris. Oh, it's the Dominic show again. Ralph Sorella. I want to go again. Ralph, this is an outrage. Out. Ralph is claiming that he moved on one question. Yeah, but he, he failed before. It doesn't matter. How many times no. can you take yeah. it? He failed the te- the question about I've attraction to men. Twice. Right. Well, I, there's men who are attracted. There's dude, dude, ah, dude, dude, you're gay. You're gay. Dude, when you flunk that wait question, a second, you're gay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Would you look at a, a good-looking guy and say no. he's attractive? No. 
No. Oh, come on. Absolutely I won't. You, 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 come on. You, you say that all the Ralph, time. Come on. To you're make you feel liar. comfortable. Uh, <laughs> right, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Calm you down, you little faggot. It's real. <laughs> it's real. The lie detectors with you is smoking. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only way to prove you, you're not gay is to go with Ermin. I'm going to go you. nail your wife now. Wait a minute. Casey you did should. almost break the machine. Yeah. No. Look. Hey, some, guy, some guy touches your hog, and I'm gay. You yeah. failed You failed the test. You I failed the failed. test because the test you is failed. stupid. Okay. Casey, come whatever. on out of the closet. I was laughing whatever, at every question. Whatever gets you come through the, the night, pal. I'm telling you. I don't wet my bed. I don't have trouble getting it up that's for girls. That's because I got mental problems. I don't got gay problems. Yeah. That's, that's a mental problem. No, it's not. I'm quite happy. You're, you're mental no, because no, you're gay. No, my sexuality is one thing. And you're mad that you're gay. No, my sexuality is gay. No, my sexuality is one thing that I'm comfortable with. Admit you're gay. And then you won't get to bed. I'm not! Howard. Howard. So what is it? Casey, uh, Al Pacino's baby. Too wound up about this. Yeah, because he needs to argue with me. I'm telling Dude. you that I'm not gay. Look at him. Look at, Al Pacino's baby. Down. There's one thing that's been overlooked about this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it interesting that Casey's polygraph came out in the shape of a penis? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. All right, let's do some news. Dominic, can you stay? Oh, you have to leave. What are you going to do? You have a client going to jail today? No, like a divorce today. A divorce. I still have the largest divorce in criminal practice. It's still wonderful and working hard. And I'll see yeah, you. Yeah, Dominic, go make some more money for me. Get, get out there. Yeah, yeah work hard. Work and hard. Ralph, when are you going out with Dominic's ex-wife? I have to call her, but probably this weekend. He'd rather go out with Dominic. Right. This weekend? Yeah. It's your All last right. chance. Is it me or her? You can have both. Can I'll make sure you're good, Dominic. Don't I'll worry. Yeah, don't worry. You know what, Ralph? Ralph, Ralph you go, you no, go with not, them. It's, not like, it's not like I'm going to go have sex with her. We're going to go hang out. We've been right. trying to do this for a while anyway. I wasn't and now, bothered. I thought you're not bothered, Dominic. Cubby just gave me a, Cubby gave me a kiss. Oh. <laughs> hey, the guy's like wealthy. Like He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Like How'd that feel? All right, get out of here, please. Howard, you know, I'll get nice say Dominic up, you know, for his phone number as well. This is good for the TV show. Watch Dominic get out of the seat. So, I, so I out. ask a guy who's in law about uh, if I can call him for legal advice, John, and that's a problem. No, but then he's going to be, uh, you know, all right, everyone get out now. It's Look too much you noise. Girls, get out of here. Everyone leave. It's too much noise. Right. Yeah, right. I just got one. Question. Cabby, thank you. Yes. You, do you want to have Angry Black come in and yell at Cabby or? What All right, what, what, what does he want? Let me hear yeah, real he quick. He wants to yell at him. I mean, I, I want him on my show. He wants to beat up a gay guy now? It's ten I'm tired. I'm sorry, Howard. I don't want to it's do a five-hour show. finding out your entire staff is gay. God. I was right. This I was wrong. This is right. <laughs> I'm going to sell my results Angry Black, eBay. I don't mean to cut you off quickly, but i got to end this show at some point. What is your? What are you angry about? I can't take it no more. I can't <laughs> take it no more. I'm drowning in crazy fag. I'm right. tired of it. You're a crackhead. You're a pussy. I'm you, I'm sick and tired of you. So do something ball. about I'm it. I'm here. Angry Black is here. Downstairs or whatever. What do you want to do? I am here. I'm drowning. You want a okay. box? You want to do it legal? You want to do a street let's, style? Whatever let's you want to do. Let's do it legal. Let's me and you box. Organize, organize violence is fine with me, let's bitch. Whatever it. you want to do. I Maybe. got it. I got Make it. a day. Make set a day. it up, Howard. Will you set it up? I absolutely same will. Way, the same we'll way box. my African princess was playing basketball with Dominic, I want to beat your punk ass in the ring. <laughs> so that way I don't have to go to jail, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of you. Good. The fans are tired of you. Good. So I said to myself, you know what? Because you, you know speak what? for all the fans. Oh, you're true. True yeah. indeed. True indeed. I speak for everybody. I speak for IBEW 827. I speak for all my hitters down in Florida. I am here. I'm the black. instrument of my destruction. So bring it hey, on. You got summer bring teeth. It on. Summer teeth. Uh, summer uh, here, summer there. Uh, <laughs> oh, now, oh, you want to go to dozens? You want to go to dozens? Bitch, you want a seafood diet? You see food and you eat it? You oh, bitch. Yeah, that's about what? as old What's as up? your crusty underwear, pal. Yeah, now, your moms didn't say that last night. I don't have my dad over. share yours. Yeah, I know. Angry exactly. Black, what you're yes, saying sir. is that you don't like Crazy Kevin. You want to box him? I want to box him. I can't fight him in the street because I don't want to go to jail. I don't either. And where's high pitch failed? Where's high pitch failed? I shall succeed. You will Bring it on. Bring it on. Let's set it up. Set up a date. We can do whatever we got to do. I'll box him. really? Yep. You're going to box him. I'll box. I'll box anybody. Cabby's going to get beat. I fear no man. This guy can beat you. He'll beat Look at him. Look at the muscle. Look at the muscle on this guy. He's ready to go. I'm ready. But Cabby outweighs him. No. And he's taller. No. Cabby, you can take this guy. Just remember this. I'll give you a piece of advice when you box me. Hit me in the body. Don't hit me in the head because you'll hurt your hand, brother. I know that. I know that. My good left hand. That's all I got to say. My good left hand. My African soup mixer. My African soup mixer. That's all I know. Yeah. You're not going to have any teeth when the whole thing is said. Whatever, man. Okay. Hey, what you talking about? I took the day off. I took the early part of the morning off and to like come I down. Said, set What's it up, up and we'll do it. We'll see who's the bigger when man. When the big man sets it up, I'm there, bitch. Bring, bring your little other girlfriend, Biatch. Kane. Bring uh, your girlfriend, too. Oh, that's my girlfriend? That is your girlfriend. I don't girlfriend. think you'd say it to his face, though. He's a bitch like you. What I don't think you'd say it to his face. Let me explain something. Let me explain something. Nobody's moving nothing on me. I'm the best there is at what I do. Okay. Yeah. What? Okay? Homo? Oh uh, yeah, I know. Homo. You just we do 
Forgive me. I'm not going to re revisit history. We already went over home on this. <laughs> there you go. Right, yeah, right. faggot. Circle dress. I'm what kind of bull my, is that? I'm going to make you my bitch. I'll so. show you. You know what? I want you to. There you go. I want you Jamie to. Black. I want you to make you my bitch. Jamie Black, if he, beats, if he beats you up in the ring, can he then perform anal on you? <laughs> you know what? You right. know what? He's not my type, Howard. Oh, I'm not your type. No. Man. All right. I'll tell no, you what. Because you got to wash that nasty ass yeah, before I, I get I, up in it. I know. I know. I know. This is coming from a crackhead, okay? What's a crackhead? Always a crackhead. Cabby. Tell the truth, Cabby. When you go over your friend's house, don't Watch where you go all the time. Angry Black, why be so mad at Cabby, though? I don't get the anger. The jealous. fans. He's my jealous. fans. Your fans. Your they fuck fans. me angry. You've What's got up? Fans? Yo, of course I have fans. Be I'm How here. Pay or is it just your family? <laughs> oh, wait, that's right. You don't know who your family is, so get off me. Oh. Let me let me answer your question. Right, right. People are drowning in it. He's on the show. If Howard needs assistance on how to smoke crack... I think he'll call you back, biatch. <laughs> then he'll call you. There he you doesn't go. call you because he doesn't want to be bothered by your fag ass. Now you control show content. Uh, All right. So you're so trying to control it. Trying to write angry, bits. Angry, angry. What you're saying is, and Cabby, asked me to come in. I come Cabby, in. what you're saying is, yeah, that you you've had enough of him. Yeah, He's had I, enough I, of you. Just, just him coming in here. Open off. his. How many rounds do you guys want to go? What do you want to do? Five, six? Sure, Whatever let's you want to do. Five. Five's a good number. Five's a good number. Five rounds of know. boxing. Yep. How, ma how many minutes a round? That's going to be two minute rounds. Two minute rounds. Two, two minutes, minutes good. So ten minutes is enough time for you two to beat each other's ass? Oh, yeah. Yep. And you're saying you, you can take him? I could take anybody, Howard. Really? Yep. My friend Gerald. You're a could, tough guy. My friend Gerald could train him. He's a good trainer. He can right. train Cabby. I'll take it. I, I, I mean, I still got skills. Uh, I boxed before. You're gonna need him. I hope you got him. That's fine. Do you box professionally? Or I used to box as an amateur. I've been so somewhat retired. I haven't worked out, but I'll be happy to go in the gym for two weeks Perfect. and beat your punk ass. Perfect. Really, Cabby? Cabby, you, you, I fear no man. Sure, maybe I fear you want no man either. Out. I'm the best there is. Well, it could be. No, 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 he's I, not backing up. You're confident. Talking. You yeah. should be confident. Everybody should go into something confident. I'm 100% confident I'm going to whoop your black sure, ass. You, oh, it's my black ass. Let me explain no, something. No, no, no. Oh, no wait, white guy ever beat my ass. No white guys beat my ass, and you will not set the precedent. Yo, I tell you, you what. You can call me every name I tell in the you book, what, but once I go a little target shooting, I, I tell you, what, you get all tell you what. tithered up. Here, let me put yeah. that crutch up there a little better for you. I tell you what, out of respect for my man sitting over there, out of respect for Howard, I'm not going to come across there and pimp slap your bitch. Come ass. pimp slap me. No, See what happens. No, 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 See, no, no, what happens. No. See what happens. See, you don't know me. You, you, you don't know me either. You don't know me either. You came in talking That's right, I did come down You came in talking mighty big. Then come downstairs in the parking lot, bitch. Yeah, okay. Angry black is here. It's worth It's worth my job. You work my job. Job. job soon, bitch. Push. I'm gonna have oh, yeah. Job. Oh, you got mad skills. I yeah, bet you don't even know. know what a board is. Bitch, I'm working the board. I'm in run it. I'm yeah. in Golden School, oh. Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Oh. Bitch. Oh. Bitch, what's Connecticut up? Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Okay, I tell you what. I tell well, you what. Well, you when know you're what? in market, you know what? When you're in market 121, call me up in market number one. I tell you what. Jackass. I tell you what. We're going to settle this in the ring, faggot. It's on. It's yeah, on. I, me, I threw the gauntlet down. I threw the gauntlet down. And when down. I kick your ass, tell your mom you got beat up by a faggot. Uh, exactly. There you I, go. I'm going to tell her that. I'm going to tell her that. Thanks for stealing my line. Yes, exactly. That's right. That's right. All right. All right. So I think we know what's going to happen. I'll set up a you date. Set I'll set it up. I, I hear what they you're saying. Train for two Word weeks. money, G. Oh, boy. It's going to be a grudge match. <laughs> you really look angry. I try to look bad because I'm going to smile when I kick your ass. Really? Yeah. You know, I hate to see people fight. You know me too. But as long as it's on my show. My life and keep doubting me. Keep doubting me. Keep thinking. All right, Cabby, what do you need? Two weeks to train? Whatever. You sure. don't even care. I don't care. We All can right. do it tomorrow if you want. You All right. know, at this point, I just want to go back to the gay parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, Angry Black, you are angry. You've lived up to your name once again. You look like a man who's ready to fight. Yeah, you, he looks like he's in the corner. You do now, seem like a to tough now. guy. I wouldn't fight you. But Kevin, I wouldn't, fight a, I wouldn't him thumb wrestle him. <laughs> he's got to have a longer reach. Kevin, you, you sure you could? Kevin, you sure you could take? Mixer. That's all I need, baby. I'm ready. That's all I need. I'm ready. He's gonna come at you fast. So yeah. what? This guy's wiry. He'll yeah. jump in there. Knock, knock me out or kill me, cause I'll keep coming I back. Kill you. I don't need to. Kill. I'm just gonna beat your punk ass. That's, that's fine. Now, wait, that's that's fine. Are we and doing you know what? When you do, I will say you beat my punk ass. That's right. Until then, that's right. Shut your pie hole, there, angry man. Can I ask a question? Are Angry they gonna Black do this? is his title, and then I call him Black, and he gets mad. Right. Love Sorry. that crunch, baby. It's all right. Keep it's using it. It's quite all right. It's yeah, quite all yeah. Right. When you crunked up, bitch, then you'll understand. Whatever. Then you'll understand. Whatever. Yeah, headgear gonna eat you or no? Oh, you got to wear headgear. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, headgear. Yeah. 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 You got to wear. Yeah. Got to wear. And you got to wear the uh, the protector down low, right? Yeah, and what kind I of... need to wear that because you're a faggot, bitch. You go for me down. I know that. But see, Yo. but see, I'm a size queen Yo. and you don't measure up. So just Circle move jerks, on with your tiny whole little penis. Gambit, the holes, crap. What about the gloves? Uh, what kind of weight gloves? Ten do you ounce gloves. Ten, Ten ounce, ounce gloves? gloves? 
He 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 boxed amateur. You know he knows the deal. I I I totally agree on what he says. Okay, I have no questions because I'm gonna whoop that ass. You are a brave man. Yes, I am. Angry Black looks tough. No, you're gonna beat me. I know that. You know what? I would. I want you to beat me. I, I want to get beaten up by a big fat faggot like you. Oh. I want. I want that. Same. I want my boys. I want IBEW 827 to come up to me like, yo, how could you go out like that? Same. How'd you let a faggot least, beat you? At least you went out with a fight. They'll That's give right. you that. That's right. Have you, you ever know boxed, Cabby? Yeah, I have. Really? Where? Uh, in the army, when we had scores to settle in basic training and uh, did you win? Airborne, but like ring uh, boxing. I, I, I got schooled a couple times by some guys that were smaller than me. I right. mean, you know, size does not matter. That's where Robin's wrong. Size doesn't matter. You know, there's there's probably some well, lightweights out there. Skills, could, it makes a difference. It, yeah, it does. So what makes you think you're going to be able to beat this guy? Look at him. Because you know what, Howard, I go into everything I do with 100 percent confidence. Because you know. when you have a weakness, look how he's a faggot. He does a lot of confidence with that. Look how he smokes <laughs> crack. He's putting a lot of effort to go. Yeah. Yep. He goes large. Crackhead. I'm Once a right. crackhead. I'm doing all right for a crackhead, ain't I? I'm doing all right, too. I never said you weren't there. I'm doing very well. <laughs> never said Aside you from school, I'm doing very well. And I've always discussed myself, but I'm not going to talk about that. That's neither here nor there. Bitch, put him on the lie detector. Up. I see homosexual tennis. I'm you not know gonna... what? It's late in the show. I'd love for him to put me on. It's late in the show. There you go. You can do that for another day. I all got right. nothing to hide. I'm 100% all, man. I whip my junk out right now. This did whole you studio see... go dark. Did yeah. you see that I am 100% all, man, as well? I heard it, Howard. Pass that test. I know. I know. None of these guys could pass except me. Continue I, I to have listen to if Howard test. was I mean, gay. What'd you say? I said, would he have continued to listen? Of course not. I would have shot myself. He would have shot himself. I would have shot myself <laughs> if I flunked that test. I, I would, I'm not going to lie. Let I me tell you something. Want to be honest? I would have shot my parents first so they don't have to suffer the embarrassment. <laughs> no, I, I passed that test in two seconds. As I'm driving down the West Side High, of course. I was concerned, bro. I'm not concerned, concerned, but there's no concern. No now. concern you about me, you man. And you should you see what I could do to a woman. And, if and I had a penis, I would. And I understand that you have a very lovely girlfriend, so when you see that's right. So you all man, baby. I'm, I'm all love, man. You, Spreading the love. Spreading that's the love. all. But I'm going to kick this every... faggot's ass, though. Hey. Look, I, I'm sorry. I got distracted from I have distracted. I'm more of a woman than you ever get, and I'm more of a man than you'll ever be. Come here, sweetie. Show me your tattoo, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> you got the balls to get a tattoo, so what are you talking? Days of rage, Ooh. bitch. Days Ooh. of rage. Yeah, That's the yeah. You do have a tattoo. Days of rage on my left arm. My African Surprise suit mixer. Surprise, showed up on your suit mixer. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Right. And on my right arm, it's my deceased sister, but that's that's neither here nor there. Get my deceased sister, Karen. Karen, so don't worry about that. God bless her, man. Worry about what you got to deal with. I'm here. We go. The big man's going to set up. I'm going to whoop your punk. Are you ass. a veteran uh, by any chance? No, sir. Of You're course not. not. No. no, I'm just a. Anyways, IB, IBEW 827, 80k a year, okay. baby. 80k, 80K a year. It's more than Cabby makes. I know it is. I, know. I just. What kind of union is that? Seriously, I, I, International yeah. Brotherhood. Electrical workers. Electrical workers. workers. Okay, yeah. I didn't know. 827. Now and forever. 20 million strong, Dude, baby. Union rules. I have, I have no problems with that. Now, I'm see, a I member shake of the union myself. But you got gobble on your hand. I shake your hand. That's your union. I respect you for that. But that's neither here nor there. I'm still going to kick your punk ass. Give it to me. I'm going to still kick your punk ass. Whatever. You lucky case is standing. Let me. Dude, Casey, go stand over there. You know, bring it on. No, no, no. Wait till the fight. Wait till the big fight. Set it up. Come on. Fair fight. What? Cabby is brave because. We need a referee. Cabby is brave. He started with this guy on any level. I didn't get started. He came in here issuing a challenge. I took up the challenge. Unlike the what's up, the what's up pussy you backed down from a challenge. Yo, he would have rolled your ass up like retail car. Why did he do it? Please, because he didn't want to. Man, he would have flew your head. To. Come yeah. on, let me try. Right, obviously, there's a Rob lot of... Ralph would say he wouldn't have taken the challenge. Ralph wouldn't fight a girl. I wouldn't either. <laughs> I'm, dr I'm drowning, bro. It depends on what girl. So, it is so hard when Not I'm you. working and you're doing a great show and everybody's sitting here and this douchebag comes in and starts. It's so bad. I can't take it. Can't. So I am the instrument of your destruction. There you Angry go. Black is here. I'm going to deal with your punk ass. I'm ready. I haven't been on in a couple of months. I'm right. letting the fans know. Angry Black is still here now forever. There I'm going to deal with your there ass. You there I'm it is. There it is. The, the yeah. issue, the, the, the gauntlet, gauntlet is dropped. To, has been dropped. And Cabby has accepted. Of course I have. And in the honor. I back down from no man. In the honorable fashion yeah. for Aaron Burr when he had his first sword fight, all that stuff. Let me ask Angry Black. Yeah. Did he think Cabby was going to pick up the gauntlet? Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Right. Because he has to show he's a tough guy, but he's a bitch. And I'm okay. going to show the world. Whatever. Right. On the E show and on the CBS That's show. CB show. CBS show, E show, every show the you're going to show. Nine yards. My head is down in Florida. <laughs> My boy's over in Brooklyn. Everybody in Hackensack. Everybody IBW 827. They're going to know. They're going to know. They're going to know. I'm putting it to rest. We're gonna put we gonna put you out the pasture, Cabby. Fine, and you can bro. smoke crack all you want to. You now what happens if Cabby loses the fight? Does that mean he can't appear on the show anymore? Yeah, the same way we did with yeah. High Pitch. Yeah, yeah and then I'll and then yeah. and then like High Pitch, yeah. I'll come back more. No, you better not lose. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We'll do it that so, way. So then what happens if I win? What do I, I get? You get anal. I'll give you my <laughs>
<laughs> Some tabby. I'll give you my tag Hoyer that I won while playing Black Jack. I already uh, got one. Jack. Thank you. All right. Well, you don't get the watch. All right. All right. I uh, dude, we'll just fight machizo, m- mano a mano. Uh, uh, I, I, we'll I, fight for who's ever got the bigger word, right? That's I want all. that. That's, That's why I'm here. Yeah. Now, I, I got it. All right, you can never attack Cabby again. You'll just have to sit there and listen. I keep my mouth shut. What oh, he's gonna be kissing job. my ass after the fight, saying how great it listen, was listen. to get your Chuck ass kicked. Chuck Zito style. Chuck Craig Zito style. Fat bastard. Chuck Zito style. I'm a man's man. Chuck Zito. I'm a man's man. Uh, okay. I like Chuck Zito. I like all the hitters I know. Brooklyn down in Florida. I lose. I'm man enough to come in and say, "Yo, you know what? All right, let's Cabby let's let's call. We've heard the challenge. Everybody's settled." I wish Angry. I could sit in for the news, but I, I ended up choking. Tell you what, I'll leave. I'll leave, and you can sit in for the news. Uh, deal. Deal. Big man, is that all right with That's you? That's all right with me. Thank That's you what very you much. Cabby, is that what you want? Yeah, go ahead. Let him sit in for the news. Go with your Connecticut school of broadcasting ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Cabby. That's it. Wow. Is Cabby leaving town? <laughs> Cabby. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. He knows how to mix it up. Oh my God. All right, all right. Angry black. I love. In. Why do guys like to hit each other so much? It's all about it. That's what it's Jeez. all about. Zetland scores. I love it. I wish I could fight. I'd love to jump in. Unfortunately, I'm uh, physically damaged. <laughs> I'm physically disabled. But what is that? Why do you like to bang it up so much? My shrink told me, Shell, you need to calm down. Do you have a shrink? <laughs> I go, once, I go once, <laughs> once, be fine. Uh, once a month. Bro. Once a month? What's the issues? I got, I got anger management issues. I've been very good. Actually, the last one since I came in with China. Yes. I slowed it down. Mm-hmm. I'm drowning in cabbie. The call is called in. I'm working. I said, yo, he's not writing the show. He has a show 6 to 10. And right. He's sitting there sweating. Oh, love me, Daddy. Please, Howard, calling you constantly. I just thought it was funny. I mean, the guy uh, committed to homosexuality. And then you're going to get him beaten up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty honest guy. He came out and... If he calls your house and you don't call him back, hmm. that means he you don't want to talk to him. But that, the, crack, sure. the crack has hurt his brain, bro. Yeah. He's gone. Well, that's true. He's gone. That is weird. He calls him like 20 times. You don't he call does. that. <laughs> he does. I mean, I would imagine if you need some assistance learning how to smoke a crack pipe, then I you would call talk him. To him. Right. But other than that, man. <laughs> what do you well, call him? Well, Robin, uh, you, here you got Angry Black sitting in on the news. Maybe he's got some opinions and... Oh, I'm sure he's got some opinions. Right. It's quarter of 11. Uh, The show has run long. Quarter of 11?